What? Is that you that knocked? No, I didn't. Go see if they're here. Um, put yourself on full screen. I'm going to, well, let me say hi first and then you can put on full screen. Dog, come here. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Friday Night Madhouse. That's what we're calling it. The Mad Crazy House. It, it is crazy. Hello, everybody. Oh, my God. It's rainy here again. I, I'm so tired of the rain. Hi, Young Sue. Hi, Young Sue. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Laura. Laura, did you send me a, a request on Facebook? Because I'm afraid to answer those things. Hi, Laura. Hi, Miss Joyce. How are you, Miss Joyce? Because if that wasn't you, Laura, then I ain't accepted. Uh, you did? Okay, I'm going to go accept you. There you go. Confirm. Bang. Now the word, Miss Laura, she thought you were a troll. <laughs> <laughs> you never know nowadays. That's true, because I got that message from... Someone who's passed away. Hi, Miss Donna's. How are you, Miss Donna's? How are you feeling, Miss Donna's? <laughs> Did the pizza arrive? I think my pizza. Arrived. You're a beautiful troll, Miss Laura. <laughs> yes, you are. You are a beautiful troll. All right, give me a minute, man. I'm gonna go have get my pizza, slice of pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. pizza. We're live, my dear. We make people hungry. <laughs> She's having her pizza. Yum, yum. Okay. So, did you guys get your sardine can? Uh, I think ours expired. No, no, still good to 2022. They don't get baby food that you force your child to eat. <laughs> I'm forcing Brianna to eat baby food. You like baby food. What are you complaining about? Oh. 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 I just modded a crazy fast sale. Gotta catch my breath. <laughs> oh my God, those sales can go crazy. But that's good. Whoever's selling, that is awesome. It's a positive thing when you have um, people selling. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. I was up trying to sort through all the metals that had come in last week and all that red um and then i got all the stamperia stuff in and i'm tired i went to bed like at six in the morning and had to get back up at around 11. and then we got home and then we started working on again packaging the metals or cookies make sure to count make sure to count the this for you know because you always jip me off i don't know you lie to me all the time. You deceive me, child. I don't deceive nobody. She makes the best cookies. Look. <laughs> the looks are good there, but... Oh, the shape doesn't have anything to do with the taste. The taste is really good. Mm. Nah, I'm, I'm oh. fine. I just haven't had coffee today, actually, because I got up and I ran to get dressed and I came up, finished some orders that came in. Because I wanted it, since we were going to be on that side of town, I wanted to get those orders out. And so um, jumped out of bed, got the orders ready, and then um, did some tidying up and headed out. Just didn't have my coffee. Hi, Miss Cheryl. The coffee does a girl good. Okay, I'm back. Hello, everybody that come in. I want to know if you finish your homework. I was listening. 
I just finished my homework. I wouldn't be on if I didn't finish my homework. Good, good. I don't believe in having bad grades. <laughs> no, we can't provoke that. Hi, Charles. Hi, Rose. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. Okay. Well, we're going to be altering a sardine can. A sardine? Sardine. <laughs> I think I said it right. You can alter anything, actually. Um. Oh, you know what? I need to send Miss Miss Patricia. She always needs the link. Wait a minute. We got to get Miss Patricia the link. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Escalo Sobre. What is her name? I forgot. Sara. Her name is Sara. Hi, Sara. Hi, Hi, Sandra. We're gonna have to get her a notebook just for names, guys. I no. have my list. I gotta bring it up. Let me bring it up. I got my T-shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. She's I got her it. list. She's got her list. She's got her list. She's checking it twice, gonna find out if she played attention or not. Look at that. Cheryl says, I've been craving sardines and saltine crackers. Oh, that sounds yummy. Mm -mm, not me. I don't like sardines. Why not? They're good. I don't like it. Nope. You don't know what you're missing. Sardine and crackers. That's how my mom ate it. Oh, gosh. The coffee's hitting the spot. Okay, so you can use a sardine. You can use an Altoid. This is a Tim Holtz. I didn't have one of those. I had the mini one, but I didn't have this. So this is a Tim Holtz one. But I was hoping, and I'm hoping this, and I did get more of the these in the store. There's more in there. And the other side that we had run out, we just loaded those up in the store. So I think it was what size, whatever size that we had run out, they came in finally. So those are back in the store. Okay. Hoping that even if we use this Altoid or this tin, no, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Okay, ladies, for your shopping pleasure, there is the link to the shop. They have those little, um, what do you call those little wood uh, spools, the little tiny miniature ones that you've been used to get at uh, Hobby Lobby. I really doubt we're going to be able to get that now, but, you know. Charles, I just posted the link on up above. I there you go. Ready with just two. Just got to position it in a way that. We'll see. We'll work around it because you know me. I'll, I'll figure something out. We'll figure something out because I'm determined. I have a determination in my mind. When that's the, this is the small one, which is the three, Hi, sorry. the three and the three and the four. I think I, I can't. We're gonna use a knob, and I got these at Clarence. What the heck is that? Oh look, I had a snap. I could have used this. Now this shows up. I could have used that for the clutch. We're going to use these little knobs that I picked up on Clarence at Hobby Lobby. And that's going to be cute. Um, you can use anything, random pieces of metal. We have tons of filigrees in the store. We got more Prima medals coming in next week, hopefully next week. I'm hoping, you know, across my, uh, my, my everything. So we got these in the store. Um, we just got more in, so we uploaded those back in because we were low. Um, these came, we got to load these into the store. And we got more of these because we were um, low on it. I think we had like six, so we got more in. And we got more of these and more of these. And so we're just going to play with various metals. And these are going to be coming in hopefully next week. I have my samples in already. They are liquid acry acrylics from Finnevar Art Alchemy. Um, and she made her first button dangle today. Awesome. Hey, Miss Carrie. Awesome. Awesome. Don't forget to smack that thumbs up, guys. Smack it up. Show some love. Okay. 
So the colors that I'm probably going to be using are Tiger Orange, True Yellow, Burnt Sienna, and Umber. We love the Umber. Um, and I will play around. We're going to try these colors that came in also from Stamperia, Graphite, and Aquamarina. They're in the store as we speak now. Okay. So we're going to play a little bit with a little couple things here and there. All right. So this is the one that I had made way back when with you guys. There's some of you guys that used to follow me back then. Um, of course, I don't have a lot of the stuff that's here. And we're going to change it, of course. We are going to use some of the Tim's... Um, words i don't know what they're called whatever his uh, notes words are um and i believe i embossed this if i remember correctly we embossed um using seth's bake textures um this is a prima mold with some finobar um, metal and then these are just little um snippets of random stuff that i glued together from scraps of laces and stuff there and there. So we're just going to do a little mixture of a little bit of this and a little bit of that and maybe create something. I don't know. Um, Carrie is asking how much the Finnebar paint is going to be. I'm not sure yet, Carrie. I have to see when they come in next week. It, everything depends on shipping. Like right now, I paid $300 on Stamperia shipment to me. Um, so everything entirely depends wow. on that shipment and how much I'm paying um, because that has to take into, you know, that has to be added into the price as well. At least a portion, not all of it, but a portion of it because that's a lot of shipping. Um, so it all depends. And those that are a member of my, um, you know, I always try to give you guys a good deal. Um with that being said, we are having a lace sale. However, that lace sale is only for a certain amount of people. I've sent the, um, hi, Miss Carmen. I sent you guys the little link to uh, join in for that sale. For the, for the VIPs. For the VIPs. It's only VIPs. It's only fair to the people that um, uh, shop, watch, um, not just the ones that comes in for a D-stash. Hi, yeah. Carmen. Carmen's treasure is it just arriving. She says, mate, thanks for my order. I received it today. Love everything I received. I'm so happy you got it and you like it. I think I added you into that little group, Carmen. If I didn't um, remind me, I think you're in that little group. I invited several of you guys that are VIPs. And it's just laces that are we are going to discontinue. I want to bring more new stuff in, stuff that it's popping, stuff that, you know, that makes you want to craft with. Um, so, anyway. All right. So, we got random stuff. I don't know what I was thinking of making here, but that was a clip. I got a whole drawer of stuff. All right, so let's get started. Y'all listening to me rambling. Let's get this show on the road. Everybody ready? One of the things that I saw Finnebar do is she uses a lot of her packaging. Um, so. To alter? Yes, to alter. So we may be looking at using, this is the packaging for her, uh, her waxes. So we're probably going to um, insert one of those in there and, I always say these packaging are really neat for those that make shaker cards. And I was so excited when I saw her actually put it into a canvas, which, again, I'm bringing in a lot of Prima stuff. You're going to like it. I mean, I I ordered what I would use. What I, what I would use. It's what I ordered. Hi, Gloria. Hey, Miss Gloria, how are you, Heim? You stay safe. I went to the doctor with my daughter today, and they were like, the guy at the front, he's like, oh, my God. He says, how are you guys holding up with this quarantine? And I said, 
probably not too good. <laughs> I mean, kids are going crazy. They were helping me all package today. That's how bored they are. <laughs> I'm gonna use some of these resins, probably because in this one, I use a real German doll that was from the, um, from the war. Of course, I don't have that. Those are really expensive to get come across. Hey, Miss Teresa. I'm glad you're here, Miss Teresa, because I need somebody that, that um, Joyce can pick on and not me, because Joyce was picking on me the other day. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to be using quite a bit of stuff. I think what I'm going to do, I've never worked with these, but I saw her work with them. And they look really interesting to work with. I'm going to start with this Waverly chalk paint because I know it has some kind of tooth. Almost like a gesso primer. So I'm going to start with that to paint this. Now this one. She got you too? <laughs> she's getting everybody. I think she's a little bit of a troublemaker. This is truffle. And so this one. You can buy it at Walmart for a dollar something. Not expensive. Not at all. I like cheap. Joy says she's sleeping with her gorgeous box. <laughs> she's <laughs> going to hold on tight to that. That was a masterpiece. Someday it'd be worth a lot of money. I, I forgot what I had put on her box. And when I looked at it, I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> that was crazy. So we want to mimic the look of rust. Well, of course, I don't have sun out. Mr. Sun was not very nice to me in the last, I don't know, I would say the last couple of weeks, Mr. Sun doesn't want to make his appearance. Mm. So because we can't really rust this and how you would rust it naturally would be to take some vinegar, salt, and hydrogen peroxide, mix it all together, and... Um, you're going to spray it, put it out in the sun, and let Mr. Sun work his way into that to oxidize it. But Mr. Sun is mean. He doesn't like me, guys. Yes, my son? What are you going to grab? Oh, the spray? It's in, it's in the cart. You don't have to dig for it. I think it's in the bottom. Yeah, watch. I'll show you. My son is doing, um, look for it. Keep going in there. It doesn't have a lid because you took the lid off. It'll make it easier for you to find. Is that it? Smoke? Grab me one. Grab me a piece of one of those same bindings. Here. Yeah. Hold on, guys. So is anybody crafting while they're watching? Is that the thickness of the material you're going to be using? Mm -hmm. Is anybody else having snow like I am right now? They're saying between one and five, it's been snowing all day. Hold on, guys. I want to show my son something. All right. So you're just going to take it. I'm going to take. My son is being yeah, crafted. It's like going back to fall with all the rain. Can you give me that water bottle? Okay. Right there in the car. Hot car. Hot. Right I know. Mother Nature is having a hot flash. Yep. Yeah. She don't know whether to be hot or cold. You might want to wet it just a little bit. I got more tape in there. I'm just going to yep. No. Just a little. No, so I'm not alone. Carrie's got to know the bottom of that. And yesterday when it started, that was what they call a squall over here because it wasn't expected. And it was nice out. You know, it wasn't great, but it was nice. And then all of a sudden, it's like a blizzard. You couldn't see. Well, you know the black is made with violence and stuff like that. It's not
Are we going to sell in the clothes thing? Huh? Yeah. Are we going to sell in the clothes thing? In the clothes thing? In the clothes? Yeah, in the clothes thing. Can you do my clothes line? Yeah. Hi, Eric. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's my son. He's hi, Nito. Hi, Nito. Hello. He's getting a tutorial on how to dye. It's not very jet, jet black. No. Let's try this, this graphite. Supposed to be black, but it looks more purple, purplish. I'm not in Texas, Teresa. I'm in Pennsylvania. Hi, Dan. I'm sorry, say Debbie. I gotta look at my cheat sheet. I'm never gonna remember these people's names. I remember the channel name. You remember what? I said I remember channel names because I see them and I, you know, I'm I'm part visual learner, so it's embedded in my mind. Their their channel name. Oh, you're in Florida, Florida, mm -hmm. Carmen. Is I'm guessing it's nice and warm over there now. It's supposed to be black, but obviously you can see it came out kind of purplish. I don't know why. Give me another piece of that. Sorry, guys, I'm giving my son. We're working on something here. That one might be a little bit harder because it all all depends on the fabric. The appearance of the. No worries, Teresa. And yes, it is because today it's snowing. Yesterday it was raining. Tomorrow I'll, it'll probably be you know a heat wave of 101. You never know. So is anybody crafting right now? I didn't see any response to that. Is anybody making anything? Mm. Not black, black, Nico. That could be black, black. Let me see. Where is your, let me see that one. Oh my goodness, you two rose bipolar weather. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Bipolar weather. Mm, closest thing is that one. Unless oh, Debbie, but Debbie's making supper. See, you needed to come in here earlier because we ordered a pizza. That Tim Holt should have been black. But you could have cooked for us. That, uh, and the other thing is to take some black paint. And I have some. What you making, baby? What you cooking? Water. Oh, that's one of those. Oh, wow. It was an awesome journal. And to think, what, two days ago? Yeah, two days ago, I had the door on the 15th, yeah. I had the windows open, the door in the back open, airing out the house, and, to, and you know, didn't need the, the heat. And now I'm like, please, I need heat. <laughs> it's cold. House in New Eden, Carmen. Or just Ooh, so so it's it's bread pizza like like a Sicilian almost. That sounds good. See, I ordered pizza. What should I say? My son did. He treated us to pizza today. Yeah, it does sound yummy. Well, welcome back, Laura. 
humidified. I like that. This pandemic thing is really starting to take a toll on the businesses here. Pizza Hut just closed over here. It's crazy. And then there was another restaurant selling all their chairs and their tables because they're closing too. Huh? But I don't normally use it. That's the problem, but I don't use it. Hi, Sierra. Just in case you're wondering, Sierra, May's helping her son out with something. Go for it, Laura. Go get that nectar. Oh, Teresa, coffee, yes. Ladies, don't forget to click on that thumbs up. Show our hostess some love. Sorry, guys. Share. Tell your friends. My son needed black, um, and I don't normally mess with black places, so. Thank you, Donis. Sorry guys, my son needed black lace and um, we were trying to figure out how to dye it. And, uh, this one's and not- Explain that your son needs black lace. He needed, he's working on his store, so he needed it to be black. Sierra and, is redoing a project she did a while back. May, she, uh, Sierra came in, you wanna show her the picture so she knows? Oh. I think, I think Sierra was with us when we did. Hold on, Sierra. You were you were with us when we did this. I don't remember. Hi, Patricia. Hey, Miss Patricia. Did you get my link? Oops. So he's trying to dye some um, just regular lace that we have. I don't have any black lace. And I'm going to have to see if maybe later on we can go to Walmart and um, see if they have any of that. Sierra says, oh, wow, so, so beautiful. I think you were with us when we did that. It was in 2017, 2008, just before I left. May's memory amazes me. She remembers dates, places. Th she remembers everything. I, I barely remember this morning. I don't remember that well. I know it was, I think, let's see. Let's see. Um, it was uh, Seth, so that would have been 2018. See? And and I gifted it to Jackie Heichel. Oh. All right, so we're mimicking something that'll give you that rust effect. I mean, you could probably take it out in the sun if Mr. Sun is nice to you. He's not nice to me, guys. He doesn't like me anymore. If you did it inside, would it take longer or, or would it wouldn't work at all? No, you need the sun to oxidize it. It has a reaction with the um, vinegar, the hydrogen peroxide. And what the about a plant light? You know those plant light bulbs? Oh, I don't know. That act like the sun? That I don't know. You remember when we did this? Um, yes, Miss Patricia, it was a long time ago. A long time ago. You and me both, Sierra, you and me both. So I was looking at Michael's and I'm complaining again. Michael's has not wanted to put coupons out other than your 20. 
Nope. Hobby Lobby, um, I don't even look over there because of what happened with their employees, but um, I don't know why I mentioned them. Joann's, it's out of habit. Joann's, they did have a 60, but they increased the prices. Like all the fat quarters that I wanted and they were like $4.99 are now like $12.99. Forget that. You can get elastic. I went on Amazon to get elastic. No elastic. Comes from DHL. Fast shipping. Um, that means it's not coming from the States. It's coming from China. Well, we're going to see a lot more China products because they opened up the the way for for them to to buy from us and you know they're going to want us to buy they from increase them. all their prices i don't know i don't know everyone's increasing their prices i guess they figure people are at home they're going to want to shop and they don't care because you know it's um a demand yep yeah no i rather i rather not pay that it's bubbling up because I have it really close to it, and that's okay with me because it gives it more texture when I start to peel, pile on up, peel, pile on stuff. You don't want that, then don't get so close. Teresa's back from getting her coffee. Where's my cup? Oh, Patricia Handy just came in. Hello, Patricia. She's been in here. Where have you well, been? We have two Sandras and two Patricias. I think she's got a little bit senile. What do you guys think? I think she's getting the quarantine is getting to her. Miss Patricia was here. I said hi to her. You said hi to her. We got Patricia Handy and then we got the other Patricia. What Patricia? Do we have another Patricia? Am I seeing things? See? You see? I can't remember. It's only a few minutes. <laughs> she's going crazy. Oh, my God. I think she's lost it. I don't know. I might finish my pizza. I need the coffee now to wake me up. She needs the coffee to get that memory. Get a memory boost. Boost. Not, not too sad. Not too sad. I do Neil. See? Not two Sandras, a Sarah and a Sandra. A Sarah? Yes, there's a Sarah, there's a Sandra. Ignore me, ladies. There is no other Patricia. I'm hallucinating. <laughs> I think she's seeing things. She's seeing things. Oh, Lord. I've just proven myself. She goes have... out more than me. I mean, I don't go out, but she goes out every day just about. Who, me? No. You don't go out every day to see your parents? No, not every day, no. But don't you get to pick up the kids' lunch? No. Oh. They stop. They, they stop the lunches? They're working on restarting. They closed all the schools here for the rest of the school year. The governor declared that today. Look at Sandra. She goes, women, go get your coffee. <laughs> Café con leche. No me recuerdo la. Yes. Es cola sobre. She's Sara. Me encanta ese nombre, Sara. Yep, she, there she is. Sara, Sara. Oh, I got. I should have shown you guys the uh, Stamperia house that came in. Oh my God, we're going to be building that. But first we got to build the album from our book box because I got so many projects. You guys are probably saying, woman, you need to you need to get this stuff done because you got us all on hold. Teresa says, speaking of quarantine, I thank all of you and those that go live to bring us a, a diversion. Gives us Gives us to go to commune with fellow crafters or friends. I salute you all. Aw, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, thank you to all the wonderful ladies that takes the time. Yeah. Miss Laura, Miss Rose, Miss D, Miss D Ann, which is Debbie. Um, 
Thank you all, every single one of you guys. Thank you, thank you. That's right. Because without you guys, there would be no life. Who'll be watching us? Nobody. Eric will probably watch me crack. Probably go. driving crazy. Can you imagine? I would love to have Eric sitting down next to me to craft. He would probably try to make one. I, I could see him slumped in the chair saying, are you finished yet? <laughs> yeah, with his arms crossed. <laughs> He's probably like, are you done already? Can I go now? Can I go now? This is enough torture. I would love to see him try to make something I've made. Who's L's, Laura? Um, that's B B um the B -B -Cross lady. B -Cross. She's got a store on Etsy. Oh, okay. Yeah, guys, check her out. Support our little shops, our little um, businesses that needs your support. Check them out. I'm See. sure there's something in there you guys can need. Apparently, they had a she had a sale today, and it went really, really fast and furious. Oh, did I miss? Was that her sale? She was supposed to be doing laces, vintage laces. Oh, yep. nice vintage laces. Yep, she 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 did a sale, and uh, Laura, oh my god, Laura was uh was helping her out there. I'm good. Time for my goddess juice. Okay, what is your goddess juice, Miss Sarah? I think she said, didn't she say tea? Was it tea? I know that, um, I know that it was Laura, a sale. Laura say, Laura's goddess juice is Dr. Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> she says it was a small pop-up sale. Oh, uh, okay. So th I didn't miss those laces that she was talking about. I'm wanting to do a project and I need some, I'm, I'm looking for some ruffled, ruffled lace. Rose says hers is sweet tea. Laura says, yep, great memory, May. Somebody has to have a good I memory. I spell it whiskey. <laughs> and Laura said, yes, tea. Tea, tea, tea. She says she spells it like whiskey. <laughs> uh, Laura says, no, she still has some. Okay. I have to go check her out. All right. So as you can see, because of the metal, we have to give it a couple coats. Uh-oh, Laura's asking, did the husband make tapas this evening? Tapas? What's tapas? They're like, kind of like finger foods. Not my husband. No, I think it's uh, somebody else. We made, uh, I made, mean, I made, mean, uh, because of you guys, I made, um, or, or let me, let me rephrase that. Oh, he said, no, it's her turn to cook. We have nice veggies, so probably salad and hummus for us. Mmm, that sounds good. Um, we had leftovers because I made, because of Laura and Bima's, they were having um, Chinese food. So I made a huge pot of uh, pork fried rice and barbecue ribs. So we had um, leftovers of that. Because I was so, after I came back from Nani's doctor's appointment, I started the package and, and we were all sitting here laughing and Time slipped us. Oh, Donna, you're trying to get into the group and Laura can't find you. Is that what's happening? Because I think I found you. Is your picture with, with the gentleman? Oh, Donna. Wear glasses. Donna. Anybody else wants to come? Who, who else is crafting and wants to come into the panel? Donna's if, if your if your picture is the one with you in glasses and a gentleman in a dark shirt, I found you. And I stay locked up with Javi much longer. I'll be switching to Pina Colada. <laughs> 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 I, think, 
I think after all this, this is what's going to happen after all this lockdown stuff. One. Wait, wait, wait. Do, if Donna confirms that this picture that I'm looking at is her, then I'll get her in the group. I'm looking at a woman with glasses with a gentleman in a black shirt. If that's you, Donna, I can, I'll get you into the group. Do you guys, do you guys like to take your shoes off? I like to be barefoot. Oh my God. There's nothing like t walking around barefooted. Oh, that feels so wonderful. I hate, I feel like when I have shoes on, like someone's in prison, my feet. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to smack that thumbs. Um, okay, so I forgot what I was saying. Um, I, know, I forgot now. What did I say? Laura, are you on her page? Because there's an option for you to send a message if this is her. It says Donna's Hermes. Let me see. Let me send you the link, Laura, and you tell me if it's the same one you found. Hold on. We're going to get Donna in here if it kills us. Uh, oh, she's probably got a set of messages. That's probably why. No, but... um. But um, I'm in. Uh, I'm at. I'm at her page, and there is an option for you to, for you to send a message. So I'm gonna send it, Laura. I'm sending it. See if that's what you're seeing. If you look under more, uh, more. No, not more. Right next to the, the picture, where it says add, add friend. Towards the right, you'll see the messenger. Yep, that's her. Okay, look at the top. Look at the top in the black spot ne next to her name, towards the right. You'll see the messenger button there. If you want to send her a message. See, I found you. You can hide, but you, you can run, but you can't hide. Hear that, Miss Donna? She's stalking you now, and I'll be prepared. I don't want to hear if she starts to stalk you. <laughs> now, how do I add her to the group? If Laura, how do you do that? I don't even know how to do that. I add her to the group. It's very simple. Where? I'm in her page now. Do I have to be someplace else? Uh, add, go into the group and add her to add to the group. I gotta find her. All right. Hold on. Okay, I have to be in the group page, not, oops. Yeah, you have to be in the group. And there's oops. Anna. Oops. The heck. Stop. Just Dog begging for food. Yep. That's what our dogs like to do. Like to beg for food. When you give it to them once, they want it. They think they can keep doing it. All right. So we're probably going to look at maybe having it with the foot like that. So it's in like an easel type thing. Yeah, like that. Does it sit like an easel? Maybe. Or maybe just for looks. Go. 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 Go.
Yeah, no, go. Ooh, sorry. All right, enough playing. Let's figure out what we're going to do here. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to, sorry, mister. You've lost your opportunity, your window of opportunity. We're going to upcycle, recycle, and reuse this. Okay, Donna, this is the link to the group for Facebook. Go in there and request. Ooh, it's hot in here. If young Sue can't send you the, because I don't see a way to send it to you either. Yeah, more. Invite members. Oh, no, I don't want to invite members. I want to add a member. We're trying to upcycle. So that one didn't make a cut for some reason because I probably didn't like it for some reason. I like because it was ugly, and not very attractive. So we're going to add, this is nothing but a piece of muslin and a piece of old, you know. There you go, Donis. I just approved you. You're in. You are in, my dear. All right. So I like to put random pieces of fabrics and fibers. And let's paint that little sucker with some gesso because it is plastic. Hola, Evelyn. Oh, you know what? My son took a gesso. Can you take the gesso? Sorry, guys. I'm running around looking for black gesso. Oh, no, here it is. one of these because I don't feel like cleaning anything after this. I really don't want to clean so we're going to be lazy and use this for one of my Come on, Alright, just using black gesso we're going to apply a couple, we're probably going to need a couple layers of gesso on this plastic You're in, you're in down us. I already approved you. That was my first approval. Congratulations. Thank you. You have now graduated to the next step. There you go. Now I need your DNA. There you go. I'm hot, guys. I don't know what it is. Peace. I must be hitting some serious menopausal stuff because, oh, my God, it's like hot, cold, hot, cold. Mm. Mm. Now, this is plastic, but you know what? I'm going to be spontaneous. I want to heat set it a little bit because, you know, when, what happens when you warm up plastic, it kind of starts to shrivel. Yeah. So, yeah. I like that shriveled up plastic burnt look. Oh, you forgot to comment. Yeah, guys, don't forget that kind of helps us get us up there. Look at that. We got 22 people watching. Whew. Gosh, it's hot, guys. Hot. Hot man, hot man. Hot. Evelyn says, "Welcome to my world, May. Menopause is no joke. No, it's not." Well, I don't know. Gosh, guys, this is like, this is like, I don't know. This is something. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, Young Sue. I'm kind of glad I went through it early. Whew. I need an AC now. 
<laughs> See how it shrivels up a little, but I like that because it gives it that uniqueness. I don't like my stuff to be like perfectly, you know. I want to know where you're going to put that. Surprise. Oh. Always a surprise. It's always how is it going to look like at the end. <laughs> She's just starting, Sandra. I'm just starting the experiment. Who knows what it's going to look like at the end. No, it's just talking about the, the menopause. Oh, yeah. 48, but, you know, the last year, I would say the last year, two, the last two years, actually, 2018, I started having my where my period, I've always had seven days on my periods, but the last year has been like, um, you're how old now? I'm 48. Okay. So 46. See, I started at 38 <laughs> after Miguel was born. And yeah, we're missing. 48, I was done. You miss a period and then it comes back with a vengeance because you missed the period. It's like, oh my God, can I not miss a period? Because I really don't want to have my period to be coming back like a vengeance just because I missed a period, you know? Huh, Sandra says, my husband hates it. Wait until your husband sees it. All right, you see how it shriveled up because we put the heat on. If you don't want that look, I want the look because what's going to happen once I make it rusty, it's going to give it that nice, unique appearance. Patricia, it lasts 10 years. Ah! The process lasts 10 years, not from the point of perimenopause, but from when you hit full-blown menopause. Set that there. And grab some of my coffee. So you could be in perimenopause for, you know, like five years. And then there's the lid. The lid was so uniquely. It's going to have textures because obviously we got paper on there. And while that's drying naturally let's put some black on this one and it has the textures from the adhesive from the bat the paper packaging and i'm going to figure something to do with this oh, that is so funny teresa listen to this she says after his directory his directed me in my early 30s hubby had to turn on the air then turn on the heat then <laughs> heat poor guy didn't know whether to scratch his watch or wind his butt <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that'll do it. I noticed that, yeah, I don't, you know, my mom didn't have any signs of menopause, like really, and she started really young. Um, she didn't have signs of menopause. She was just, she was always normal. Like I see women that sweats and then they have their heat flashes and all that. My mom never, ever had that. So I'm hoping that that's the case with me. My only concern I had the night, the nighttime flashes. Hey, Miss Denise, um, I don't have that because I'm always cold in general. I'm always cold. I guess if I start to, like right now I'm hot. Obviously I'm hot, um, which is not normal for me to be hot. That's true. I'm always cold. Donna says, be right back. Got a pop popcorn. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds yummy. I like buttery popcorn. Yep, so do I. Ooh, sit down and watch a movie with the girls. Well, my son now. This is one thing I like about this quarantine. We've been watching lots of movies like a family together. Mm -hmm. My son, he's been funny as heck. And now he's like, Mom, um, he says, now I'm hum this humbled me. <laughs> I was laughing at him the day. I said, Laura says, man, you're always cold because you don't have as much insulation as us fluffy gals do. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
that what it is? Uh, maybe. maybe. After, I, after I had my surgery, I'm always cold. Oh, my God. People are standing next to me, and they're hot, and I'm here, you know, freezing. It's really weird how it changed my, my temperature, my thermostat. <laughs> Change your whole perspective. Yeah. Guys, I'm telling you, I am hot. We've got a mighty. I don't know who cranked up the heat. Somebody's playing tricks with me. Oh Somebody cranked the heat. Sandra says, so at night I would sleep with cold water bottles all over my body. <laughs> well, well, it was an outline of water bottles. She had water bottles. <laughs> I bet you I'd be loved that. Yeah. Yep, women's health needs more advances so we can ha have an easier time. Yeah, why don't men get this crap? What's up with that? What's up they with that? Do. They do. They do. What? What do they get? They they go through a menopause, not like women, but they do go have a menopause. I've never heard of a man having menopause. Sin vergüenza, changuería, baguería. That's that's midlife crisis. Flojería, toda la jería, pero no no menopausia. <laughs> yes, it's called women pause. <laughs> midlife crisis. Dealing with the women, that's probably what they're dealing with. Changería, flojería. Iba a decir putería, pero. <laughs> pero no cuenta. <laughs> Excuse my French. I shouldn't because um, YouTube says that we can't cuss anymore. <laughs> We're not allowed to cuss anymore. Okay, who wants the education on the menopause? Because I got the info. What do you got to do? You got to read us from facts. Yes. No, yeah. that's too nerdy. That's too nerdy. They go through they go through the male menopause is called andropause. And during that they don't have they, any they they have a testosterone deficiency. Oh I feel so sorry for them. Oh. And then wait a minute, an androgen deficiency and late onset hypogonadism. Gonadism? What the heck? Hi, hello, hello. Men get fat prostates and they have plenty yeah. of options. Yeah. Let's see. Women, Symptoms. Okay. Women. Symptoms are low energy, depression, or sadness. That's where the midlife crisis comes in, I'm guessing. Decreased motivation, low self confidence, difficulty con concentrating, insomnia, or difficulty sleeping. Increased body fat, reduced muscle mass, and feeling of physical weakness. Weakness. Get, what? I can't even. Say. <laughs> <laughs> or development of breasts, decreased bone density, erectile dysfunction, reduced libido, and infertility. You know what? I'll take the hot flashes. Damn, that's that's rough. No, no. Look what look what look what um Laura wrote. Yeah. So they take T T two shots and it makes them like big, mean, horny bulls. <laughs> Hi, Clint. Hi, Clint. <laughs> did everybody listen to Clint singing? He went. Did a oh, he said it. I did not hear him sing. Oh yes, it was beautiful. Oh, I have to go. The stuff. Carmen yes. says that estrogen, estrogen from Walgreens helps her with hot flashes. Oh, Whew, guys, I'm telling you, I don't know if it's. I'm gonna blame it. Someone, someone playing a, a prank on me. Someone in the room next door, I think, cranked up the heat to make me feel this way. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Everyone and I was wondering what came into in, into for a minute. Ow. For a minute there. Miss Kathy, we're talking about menopause and men. I feel so sorry for men that has menopause, not 
Yes, andropause. That's what I just was reading. Yeah. No, I don't feel sorry for them. They don't have to carry a baby nine months. They don't have to get fat and, you know, and deal with facial hairs and stuff like that. Well, I don't have facial hair. Thank God. Wait, not on wood. But, you know, there's women during... I hear, I hear people during menopause, they get facial hair and body hair that they didn't have. Yes. I went backwards. I lost, I haven't shaved since I was like 38 in my legs or my underarms. I have no hair. But on my face, yeah. Yeah, the chin and the upper lip, yeah. It's true. My ex's best friend was also his doctor. He gave him those dang shots because I was nine years younger and he had performance anxiety. Those dang shots made him mean as a snake. Ooh. That doesn't sound like he had rough. He was rough. Is that what it is? So thankful I had a hysterectomy at, oh my God, 21? Wow. Wow, that was young, Miss Kathy. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh, that had to be horrible. Oh no, Denise says, I heard that too, but I'm losing my hair for real all over. I need a hair topper, it's awful, yes. And I have thin hair in my family, which I inherited. Yeah, and rosemary, it, it, take some fresh rosemary into um, olive oil, some kind of a base oil, almond oil, olive oil. Put the fresh rosemaries in there and let it in like a dark room. Shake it every day. And <clears throat> that helps a lot. After 21 days, rub that oil in your um, shampoos. It helps with the hair growth. My daughter, um, Carla, was stressed. Ooh, and rosemary. Me. Huh? She had cancer of the uterus. Oh, sorry to hear that, Miss um, Kathy. That's pretty young. Yeah. That's very young. That's when you're like, you know, you're in that, those prime years of your life, you're partying. Well, some people party. All right, so we're going to alter even the lid. I'm not sure what we're going to use for the lid, but before we leave tonight, we'll, we'll, we'll make something with this lid, okay? A hanging, you could use the little notchy thing there as your hanging implement. Yeah, I could use it like a little mechanism, like a clipper, clip, clipboard, you know? You know, it almost looks like a little clipboard. Blah, clipboard. Ooh, Laura's so funny. She goes, Miss Cat does her party now. <laughs> All right, so I shriveled up the little packaging from Prima. And then we're going to make it look rusty. I'm dying to see where you're going to put that. Didn't you see? Were you not paying attention where I put it? No, I must have stepped away or looked away or reading the chat. I don't know. Guys, what do you think? What do you think we should do with Miss? Um, we're going to even toss that out because he got True. That's Probably. valuable. That's valuable pieces of fabric and trend. We can't throw nothing away because Corona says we can't throw nothing away. Coffee hot sauce makes the hot flashes worse. Yes. The oh, I did have a big cup of coffee. Maybe that didn't help. <laughs> Maybe that was it, Miss Laura, uh, Miss Carmen. Okay, so we got that. Um, and the other one, what we ended up doing is we used some of Seth's Seth After has the one of the best, I say, my personal opinion. He has the best embossing powders, patina oxide. Oh, yeah, baby. Um, Tao Sunset. He's got some awesome stuff. So we're going to play around. You need the sun to get the rust effect. I'm sorry? She was asking, um, where is it? Ah, I lost it. She was asking, is it only the sun that gives that effect? The yeah, you need the sun to give it a nice rusty effect. Sorry. You do. It, it kind of makes it patina. I mean, not patina, oxide. It, it does something with the vinegar and the hydrogen peroxide. It eats through the metal. And um, 
And so, yeah, you need that. Okay. Remove all these little scraps. So get your scraps. Oh, did Carmen? She just had a hysterectomy three weeks ago. Oh my gosh, Carmen. Endometriosis. Oh, I hope you're doing well. Besides living in Florida, I've had hot flashes. I would be a bee on wheels all the time. <laughs> okay, let's go with our um you're funny, Miss Kathy. A bee on wheels. Welcome back, Donna. Shh, don't say anything. She doesn't know we were talking about her. Miss Donna, she was talking about you. Yeah, because she comes in, she goes, don't talk about me. I'm here. <laughs> Miss Donna, she was talking about you. She told me not to say anything to you. I hope you're getting better too, hon. We're going to do, we're going to use this one, um, which is also, because that way I can get into the nook and crannies. I should have ordered this for the store. This stuff is a bomb. I love this stuff. I'm going to order. I'm going to place another small order. So you want to get your embossing in certain areas, of course. Not all of it. Just certain areas. Uh, they're sharing boobs in the group. Boobs? Yeah. When the, some some women's boobs get bigger during menopause, and who who was it that said it then? <gasps> Maybe that's why my boobies are getting bigger. You know, she said, "Well, somebody wasn't getting them, and and somebody else who was it? Laura off Laura, you offered the free boobies, or you needed the free boobies?" I don't like my I, I like my boobies to be small. They've always been small, but here lately, I'm noticing that I've gotten a little bit big on top, and I'm like, okay, I'm not gaining weight. So what's up with the girls? You know, girls, what are you doing to me? Santa says, LOL, May, Laura needs some. Laura needs some boobies? Laura needs boobies. She can have some of mine, too. Laura, okay, so we're going to use, um, let's see, what do we want? Oh, we forgot Clint's in the room. <laughs> oh, Clint, cover your ears. Clint. <laughs> He's going, oh my god, boobies. <laughs> Poor Clint. Clint, cover your ears. These ladies are nasty. No, just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's let's use um cow. Oh, really? oh. May I order that workout board? Hey, did it work? You got two for one? Let me know if it works as I saw some of the reviews and some of the people were saying that it was um, um, that it wouldn't work really well or that they got hurt. So let me know how it works for you because I need to I need to work out. What? Teresa says now my sister says what? My sister says now she tucks them in her socks before she leaves the house. <laughs> Teresa said that? Yeah, she says, my sister says now she tucks them in her socks before she leaves the house. What the heck? What kind of boots does she got? They go all the way down her feet. <laughs> what else? What's this? What the heck? Wait Oh my God. Guys, what is it? They, 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 they wobble to and fro, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you are bad. My mom had big boobies. <laughs> they wobbled. Bless her little heart. She had some big ones. And then, then there was me. I had none. So now, here recently, it's kind of growing. I'm like, what's up with that? Hey, Laura. Laura's here. Laura Kai. She says, hey. hi, what are we doing? I've been watching on TV for a minute. And I just got my sardine cans and out, well, out, and here you are, altering one. I may play along. Yes, play along. Play along. Play along. And just may remember, we're uncensored here. Clint, make sure, make sure you tell your mom. <laughs> Clint, make sure you tell your mom that we're uncensored. It's Friday night. It's it's whatever it is. 
what I'm, I'm telling you right now, ladies, whatever it is, whatever happens, happens. It stays here, right? He's covering his eyes. He's Cover like, your eyes, but you're not covering your ears. <laughs> you're not <doing> <laughs> cover your ear stop using the boobs as a shelf or they'll flatten your hips <laughs> <laughs> oh wait there's a question laura's asking what is the squeeze bottle that you use what squeeze bottle you use the squeeze squeeze. Bottle? oh this is this is embossing powder embossing mm -hmm. ink oh um i'll see about carrying that but you could probably well i was going to say you could probably walk into joanne's hobby lobby or michael's and get it but um no <laughs> look at that i'm even trying to keep it clean guys you ever see me do this no, not I, say she. Clint is having a good time. He closes his eyes and Laura says I, I, that she knew that he was peeking. Yeah, he's peeking. He's peeking. He says, I couldn't help it, Aunt Laura. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> 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 ah, he's funny. You're funny, Clint. You're a cool guy. I forgot he was in the room with us. I know, I forget. <laughs> I forget. You were sneaky, Clint. Hold on. I want to add some of this. Yvonne is yeah. asking, so what are you going to be doing about the sharp edge inside if you said it before I came in? I'm sorry to ask again. Uh, well, I'm not really going to do anything about the sharp edge inside, to be honest. It's just going to be, it's going to get so much stuff in there. So really nothing, Miss Yvonne. It's just a little decor. I mean. <laughs> Clint, he's so funny. It's okay. I don't care what y'all talk about. <laughs> just cover your ears. Don't tell your mom. It was Moses that did it. She said it. I did not. Moses said it, not me. Moses said it. Mm-mm. Lunda's a bad influence on you. He Clint. doesn't know me as Lunda. He knows me as Lulu. Lulu. Lulu's a bad Lu Clint. Clint, no. listen. Clint, listen to me. Listen to me, Clint. Lulu is a bad influence. You tell your mom that. You make sure you tell your mom that, okay? Don't say that. I have the police at my door. <laughs> Try to be careful that I'm not I don't have too many flyaways. Okay, this snorting again. Listen to Denise. I'm an angel. It wasn't me. <laughs> Denise. 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 Come on, girl. I don't even think, Denise, you're an angel when you're sleeping. I can imagine you ripping people off even in your sleep. I can imagine that. Okay, it's time for me to get me coffee. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. You added me as you added me on Facebook, Miss Donna's. 
Oh, oh, check it out once we get out of here, Miss Donna's. Can't even see. Oh my God, I was about to put the wrong one. Where the heck did they go? Right here. Oh my God, so many people are trying to place orders with me. That's awesome. That's awesome, Denise. I'm glad. I'm going to try your mask, Denise. I can tell you right now, I, I made two masks out of a twin size sheet yesterday. And uh, for Brianna, because she had to go to the doctor's today. I don't like sewing. Did I ever tell you guys how much I don't like sewing? Especially not if it's not paper. I don't like sewing. I just don't. It just, mm -mm. It's not for me. I like altering stuff, but I don't like sewing. Clint loves to sew. Yes, he does. You can't keep up with it. It's good. Extra money. It's extra it money. Think about it when the corona. Takes, it takes her two hours to make three of them. It takes too long to make them, she said. Two says. hours? Oh, my God. No way. Now, see, I don't have patience for all that, all that cutting, ironing. I did that last night. Oh, heck no. Heck no. Oh, God, no. Mm -mm, I don't got time for that. I was about to whip out the fabric tack and start gluing. I'm serious. I was like, man, can I can I fabric tack this one? <laughs> I did not like the gluing. Denise likes to sew, I mean, relaxing to her, depending on what I'm on what she's doing. Uh uh, I don't like none of that stuff. I, as I as I sat there yesterday last night, working on the ones I had to do for Brianna. Uh, so she can go to the doctor today. I thought to myself, why am I doing this? I'm not a sewer. I'm not a seamstress. I don't care to do any of this stuff. This is not fun. Give me the glue gun, fabric tie, give me whatever, but do not tell me I got to do this. Mm -mm. Can't stand it. No way. You have a video, Denise? She said she made a live video making them to see how long it took me her. And YouTube didn't tell anybody she was live. No. No, I didn't know. YouTube was not telling anybody. I didn't know you were live. Yeah, I didn't see. And then you were live, I would have gone in there. Showed you some love. Oh, your your video was marked private, it's saying. What? Why do they mark it private? Did you put Corona on there? Because I, I heard if you put anything that's related to Corona, they they remove videos. Nah, I've been seeing videos on it. No, because my video that said Corona, I can't get monetized on that. They um 
they um demonetized it because you can't have because of the corona. I don't know something about corona. You can't put it out there. Aside from the mess that I have on my desk, when I need to get a glass mat for this desk, I'm notorious for ruining desks, computers. Just don't let me have any access to any of those things. Oh, look, it warmed up the side. She's not doing any, uh, Yvonne, she's not going to be doing anything about the sharp edges inside because nobody's going to be touching. Yeah, no one's got to There's a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, no one's going to touch it. It's just for decors. Not like it's be, anyone's going to eat out of it. It's just a decor. If you have children in the house, I would hang in high where they can't reach it. Yeah. Yeah. My kids are big. He says, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Red rust. We're going to do brown rust. Um, um, hold on. I can see it. I could see it, Denise. This one over there. It's it's plain. And just a little bit here and there. We're gonna try to make some rust. Yes. Sandra, you got her channel correctly. Are you in the right channel? Creative. I hate that the the fact that YouTube took away our ability to click on the person's name and go to their channel. Yeah. I do not like that. No, nope. YouTube. They, did that because they they knew that yeah. people were doing the the grow streams and getting and getting the uh, watch hours. People were playing the videos, so they want and they would have to pay out money yeah. for those that are monetized. So they took that off. Yeah, I know. I know. It's I know. it's not right. No, it's not. You want to dab this in. You don't want to get really a lot of blob in there. Just kind of get in there. And see, um, Yvonne, because we're putting so much, even around those edges, it starts to build up. A coat, yeah. So, and and you're, you're wrapping those edges. So it's not... No big deal. I mean, you could probably, you know, if you wanted, you can take a little bit of a sandpaper, sand it down, or perhaps a piece of ribbon, trim, something, you know, something if you want. Yep. Something, something. I'm going to kind of dry brush a little bit of rust. I'm gonna make some rest. Okay, Sandra. If you if it still comes up as private, you might want to check your settings. You know what? It's funny because um yesterday I got a notification that someone came, someone went live. I didn't get it. I got the notification hours later. Um, oh, but when I went to see their video to their channel to see the video. The video wasn't there. I went back to my, you know, you get those little notification in your messages. And um, I saw the, the message that the person was live and I went back in and went back to their channel to see their video and no video was there. And then I went back to my message and I'm like, am I seeing things? So I asked Carol, I'm Carol, where I go with Miss Carol again? 
Um, and so I asked Carla, I said, Carla, can you see, um, can you go in here and see what I'm doing wrong? She says, no, mom, the video, click on that link that they sent you. So I went to the link, the video was there. Go to their channel, the video is not there. And it had been hours, it had been five hours and I got the notification. I was like, what? It's crazy. Crazy YouTube. I tell you, crazy YouTube. Hmm. Ese suspiro. I have my coffee. <laughs> Qué suspiro tan profundo. Qué suspiro. No, they don't. They change the rules on how they they're showing videos. Yeah, they do. They're. Uh, I think if you're not overly active and you don't have the watch hours, and if you don't have the x amount of, subscribers, they put you down at the bottom of the search. Yep. And they put up the ones that have a lot of views and you know popular ones yeah. and then that's not fair because that defeats the purpose of hitting the stupid little bell and clicking notify well, them all well and they're and they're weeding out the inactive accounts um they are again this is the brown rust from prima um i try to get some of this in the store but they're on back orders we're going to have some other rust effects in the store um and you just want to go in and notice i just kind of Dipped it right in. Yep, Yvonne, they're trying to bump the smaller channels. Yeah, they are. They're trying to, and, it's, and I've been saying it, they were going to do that. They were going to weed out the small channels because they're not generating enough income for, for um, YouTube. You know, they don't generate the income that YouTube would like. We're not million dollar um subbies here you know our million subscribers here yeah. we're um whatever you can get i'm happy with just the people that comes in here and you know if i get one person watching me i'm just happy mm. i'm not those that has the big channels i've noticed um a little snobbish for my taste I don't like doing recorded videos either because I just don't like editing personal taste again don't like editing some people do wonderful jobs at editing not this girl here this girl is bad at editing This has a sandy, a sandy grit to it. So it kind of makes it really, really rusty and tarnishy. Um, Denise says, I hear you. I was live and alone for two hours. Being alone didn't stop me from making my video. Hi, why didn't you post that in a group? Why didn't you put, did you put that link in the group? You needed to put it in a group to let us know you were live. You should have posted it. Next time you go live now, I feel bad. My friend was alone. Barry says, may I watch you one time and you got addicted and never stopped what oh she got addicted and never stopped watching you. Ah okay, see how rusty it looks. I like that look. Yep, yep, Thomas. Look at that. Look at that gorgeousness. 
we're going to go with a little bit of the yellow. We're going to experiment with a little bit of the yellow. Just to give it a nice color pop. Not too much. I'm going to use my finger. Denise says, no, I was messing around and that is okay. I would get nervous if peeps were there, I bet. <laughs> Sandra says, it looks good. Yvonne says, nice job. Bravo, bravo. Not too much, just a little. Leave it, Sandra, because YouTube's not sending out the notifications to anybody. They're not. They're not. I'm telling you. Times, May, tell them. How many times have I told you, oh, you know, I didn't even know you were live. If, if May doesn't send me the link, I won't know. If I don't pass by a post from, from the group or go directly to the group, I wouldn't know. Young Sue posts also. And, some, and I was telling May the other day, sometimes I'm I'm sitting there and I'm scrolling through Facebook and I'm looking at posts from three, four, five, or, or even a week's back. I don't know why. I'm going back in with this little plastic packaging from Prima. I'm using the red rust from Prima's Rust Effects. If you guys can't afford this, my suggestion to you is just take some um, acrylic paint some glue like Elmer's. I would use Elmer's glue um, and some sand. Go to the kids' park. Grab a, a, a or if you have a beach nearby, grab a cup of sand and you want to mix in. You don't want it too thick, but you don't want it too watery. If it dries up, you can reactivate it with more glue. Just pour more glue and mix it in. Um, and you can make your own rust effect, okay? That's just a little, you know, when money's tight, mm -hmm. you make your own. Make your own, ladies. Here my computer so it sounds like round 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 round. No, I don't hear it. Streamyard must be silencing it. Yeah, it does. It kind of it kind of mutes that sound a little. I've noticed it does because um, if I record it, you can hear it immediately. A little bit deeper with the brown. And this is the brown rust. This is just to kind of mimic like it's a metal rusty piece, even though it's plastic. Nobody needs to know that. Unless you tell somebody, they're not going to know. You can also use cinnamon and it'll give you a nice little rust or paprika or, um, oh, what's that other yellow one? I have it. Oh, not, not cumin. No. Not cumin, no. I have it. It starts with a T. You can't think of it. Turmeric? Uh, turmeric. Yeah, turmeric. <laughs> turmeric. Denise says she loves the rust effect. I love rusty things. I don't like anything. Like I, I think I say that a lot. I don't like anything that looks like it came out of a store. 
I want something that looks like it's been buried. It's a secret treasure. You have a Dollar Tree sponge, cut it into little squares and you can um, sponge it on. It even gives it a nice um, rusty look. I'm using the tip of my brush to kind of mimic that look. I don't have a sponge right now. Carla, does have a makeup sponge that you could swipe? No, you want the kitchen, the, the cheap kitchen sponges. I did oh, a video, okay. the ones that I was using around Christmas time when I did the ornaments and the cake pan. You want a, you want a old Dollar Tree kitchen sponge and just cut it into a little, I tossed mine away because once you, you know, and you want that kind of stuff because once you get this stuff, it gets really grungy. So you always want to make sure you clean your brushes afterwards with nice soapy water. Um, and use that same brush always if you can remember. I don't remember. Um, but you don't want to um, go back in with the red. Kathy, are you still in the room, Clint, saying that he, her, his mom added her on Facebook for his Facebook Messenger? I don't know if she's still here. Are you still here, Kathy? Is Kathy? Yeah. Kathy. Where are you? I don't know. Yeah. Denise says, I did a mural on a wall of a grandfather clock and made the wood grain from a cheap kitchen sponge. It was awesome. Yes. I, I, I love, we're going to use one of these up here for sure. And here we're going to use... Carmen is asking when are you, she sent the links out already. I think she wants to know when you're having the VIPs. Um, at least tomorrow at two o'clock central. Two central. Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, yes. Yeah, it's tomorrow, Carmen. Probably not the wings. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see, Let's see something else here. Oh, well, hold on, guys. No, well, it looks too, too blah. I like the head versus the heart. Yeah, I like the head better. I'm going to get some cheesecloth. I'm not done yet. This is the assemblage part. This is the assemblage. The part that I like to do. Of these. Yeah. What time is it where you are? Where 
where is she? That's the question. Where is she? I think, oh, wait, I know where she is. So she says she was watching and that she she had stopped watching because she was getting ready for bed. So I'm wondering, where is she? Then? What time is it? She's East Coast time. She's East Coast? Okay. Uh-huh. No, she's in Florida. Yeah, East Coast. Yeah, East Coast. Okay. Some twine. I'm always, in Pennsylvania, so I have the same time as you. I always in, have your um, your cheesecloth, coffee dyed, you know, beforehand. <laughs> Laura's getting very upset. She can't find her pinking shears for her fabric and it's driving her crazy. She hate when that stuff happens. Mm -hmm. Laura, if the side of your work table is wide enough, hang a command strip on the edge of the table. That way you could just hang them off the side of your table. <laughs> Laura's accusing, is accusing Clint if he took the scissors. He says, I did not. <laughs> Clint did it, Clint did it. I blame Clint. This is where um, some of that Prima uh, stones, I'm getting some in. They're not, they're coming in, Prima stones. Uh, would go really handy. Ooh, you know what we could put? Ooh, a cork. Yes, we're going to put a cork for the base. Um. Uh, Going through my metal box, guys. In case you're wondering, what the heck is that crazy Puerto Rican chick doing? Yes, I like that. I'm bougie like that. No way. Patricia says, I lost my old glasses, so I went in and got a new pair. Then a week later, I found the old ones. Now I lost my new pair. Oh. <laughs> That happens to me, well, not with glasses, but it surely does happen to me quite often that I can't find something. And then um, this is a prima, uh, not Good prima. night, Laura. Good night, Miss Laura. A Hobby Lobby. Ooh, yes. That's Ooh. Laura Kai that left, just so you know. I like that one. What do you guys think so far? Okay, now Laura Witchy says, Patricia, I lost mine too. I refuse to get more because I know that would happen. Yep, that's what usually happens. Yep. The second you, you order it, or the second that they they arrive for ready for pickup, that's when you find the old ones. Mm -hmm. Let's switch heads. Let's try something with smaller heads. Might have to knock that bead down, but that's doable. That's doable. Patricia says, I love it like, I like it like that, me. 
I don't, I don't know what part though. I think we're going to go with her. I think she looks so Victorian. Oh. We're going to go with her. Yes. She'll look towards us. Ooh. All right. Very pretty. I'm going to glue this down. Oh, shoot, guys. My son took. Thank you, Young Sue, for the Fabri Tag, courtesy of Young Sue. Oh my good, thank you, young Sue. Patricia goes, I even had a chain on them to hang around my neck and I still lost them. <laughs> That's what Eric says I need to start doing. Well, um, Laura's saying maybe the smaller head. Yeah, that's what I want to go with. The, the big head is too big. Too big. We're going to go with the small one. This is courtesy of Young Sue. So, Young Sue, thank you. My son took the hot, the hot glue gun. So, no hot glue today. Hello, Anna Mora. Hello, Anna. Welcome, Wheel. Let's get this here glued down first, I guess. There's my glue topper. Yes, the day seemed to run together. Remember when we were kids, we used to have that underwear with the days of the week on them? We need that now. I agree. Because I lose track of the days. I realized at about 3 o'clock this afternoon that it was Friday. Patricia is asking, so do you like the hot glue gun that's in your store? I do. I love it. It's the one I always use. I've had that thing for years. Uh, I think I that, that one there is probably from 2013. My favorite glue gun. You take some metallic, um, metallic stuff. It's a sure bonder, right? Yes, it's a sure bonder, and I don't like the new one that came out. They got. I heard that they changed. Um, that they changed the packaging because that new one that had come out about. Um, well, these are the waxes, um, about two years ago, three years ago, that green and black one. Oh, I didn't like that at all. We're going to try some of these liquid fluids. And this one is the umber. Carmen needs a glue gun with the small tip. Does the one yeah. in the store have a small tip? Yeah, the one from the store has a small tip. There you go, Carmen. The one in the shop I'm has a Bring a little bit of water, just a little bit. Not too much. This is the liquid. Umber liquid paint from Prima. Yeah, 
Now that's the that's the only one I would use. I've tried other ones. That one is my favorite. Unfortunately, um, they've come out with a new model. So that new model um, made the old model obsolete, which was the worst thing they could have done, making the old model obsolete. This is if, you know, this, these kind of projects is if you like rusty stuff. I don't know if you guys like the stuff to look rusty or if you like your stuff to look new. Who out there likes your stuff to look rusty? I'm going to go in and heat, heat set it a little. So what you're saying about the shore bond, is the two different models, they don't work the same? No. The new model that they came out in 2017, 2018, I don't remember when it was, that green and black one. Oh, that thing was horrible. Could not stand it. The, the, the nozzle couldn't, you couldn't get the glue to come down. You had to keep hitting it, hitting it, hitting it to get the glue to come down. I want to keep this a little bit, guys. You mean, you mean from the top when you insert it or coming out the nozzle? The nozzle. From the nozzle, you had to keep pressing the nozzle to get the glue to go down to the chamber. Really? Yeah. It was, the nozzle was too, too narrow? No, the nozzle. The nozzle, you had to keep pump, pumping it to get the glue to go into the chamber. Oh. oh, oh. Denise is lo loves the rusty and grunge. Um, Evelyn, I got your stuff that you pre-ordered. I think everything that you, all your stuff is set aside. I did have a question on your rice paper. I did not pull any rice paper because I wasn't sure which ones you wanted. But as far as your paper, I got Fantasy Man. Right, let me show you. Hold on. We can let that air dry a little bit. This is what I set aside for you paper-wise, Evelyn. Um, the Fantasy Mechanicals, Mechanical Fantasies, Music, Look at Azulejos de Sueño, House of Roses. That one's pretty. That's what I set aside for you, um, Evelyn. Um, so they're not in the store. I have to um, invoice these separately for you. Because I set them aside for y'all. And then I have an invoice for the Prima because I need to make sure um, sometimes that stuff that comes, even though it's I'm going not to Prima distributor, but sometimes that stuff Prima takes forever to ship to the distributor, and so could be a while. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you're loving the House of Roses, Denise. Me too. I like it. I like it a lot. This is just a piece of mesh that I coffee dyed. Good for you, Laura. She says, I always did Halloween and goth stuff. I'm branching out now, though. Very good. Expand those horizons. Yes, We've got to expand the horizon. Evelyn right. says, "Okay, I'm going to get the Sea World paper too." Okay, you, you want me to pull it out? Or... And Rose is asking, "Did you set aside some for her?" Uh, which one did you want, Miss Rose? I wasn't sure which ones you wanted, but you 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 guys um, have to go into the store um, because you guys get a twenty percent. Well, I guess you could tell me which ones you want because. Um, you guys get a 20% discount. Good night, Carmen. Good night, Miss Carmen. Thank you for joining us tonight. She said, God willing, I'll chat on the VIP tomorrow. Be beautiful paper, she says. Put that in there. It's just We're just tucking in a lot of little odd end things. I wish I had my hot glue right now. Make this a little faster. But 
I am blessed to have a wonderful friend like Yang Su. Evelyn says, yes, please. Rose still hasn't responded. Rose, which ones did you ask her to set aside? Uh, what did she say yes to? I forgot. I don't know. Whatever you, I don't know. Whatever you the told prima, me. I know she wanted Prima waxes. So the Prima, okay, we're going to go with Burnt Sienna. I know that you wanted Prima waxes, and I'm just using a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy on it. Um, I know you had wanted Prima waxes, but we are going to wait until... Until, until, I'm going to get my towel up in here. Okay. Evelyn says, or she can just get it from the store. There are other things that I'm going to get from the store. Okay. Yeah. If, if Go ahead. Uh, I don't think music is in the store because I only ordered that one special uh, special for you. Um, so music is not in the store, but go ahead um, in there and get it okay so we're just going to go tap in with a little bit of the burnt sienna oh i love the way these acrylic acrylic it's almost like got a little glossy look to it rose says she'll get it from the store wasn't sure if you pulled out some things no hon i wasn't sure which ones you wanted um oh, the house of roses ceremony antique lace okay that ceremony i don't think it's in this store antique lace i don't old lace you mean check to see if those in the store i, I don't know i put i don't know if i put them because i wasn't sure who wanted i know that debbie wanted those and i put them to the shop so you can take a look just make sure you guys use your dt code please use your dt code uh evelyn says i'll get the sea world at the store with the other stuff okay uh, Laura says that she saw ceremony in the store. Okay, she saw it. Okay, so then go ahead and get it from there, and that'll be easier. That way I can keep better track of inventory. And use your DT code. Don't make me go all the way to Texas, woman. just a little bit i like this um you know i wasn't i was skeptical about getting these um acrylics i thought gosh they're so expensive um patricia is asking are you going to get the book that goes with the book box uh yes i have some that's coming in next week there's five coming in next week hopefully and evelyn is asking were you able to get the art stones from prima i sure was yes those are on order for you yes along with your what? waxes that you wanted right. i have not invoiced you on that evelyn because i'm waiting to confirm they confirmed it today that my order was being processed but i want to make sure what actually gets in there because sometimes with prima it um it, some of the stuff doesn't always come in. Like I know you wanted that one paper dulce. Um, the only thing I can get, even going directly to Prima, is the flowers. It's just like um, they don't have they don't have it. Rose says I don't even know what the the DT code is. Send me a message after, please. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Um, uh, Laura is saying any idea? I, I know I'm going fast here, but they're coming in fast. Any idea when the order might come in? Um, probably next week, Laura. Um, I know you got some glues and some other stuff. We'll talk about that later. I'll I'll, I'll let you know what my plans on on that later. Okay. Okay. Um, you notice I have not invoiced you on that. There's a reason behind it, Miss Laura. Okay. I will. Okay. About that. Patricia says I need three. Can you put them back for me? I sure will. As soon as they come in, I will set three aside for you. I also have creative paper clay coming in. Um, and um, I also have resin coming in. So I ordered those in. If I need to order more, I have, I think, 12, 12, um, 12 creative paper clay and i'll have two resin left over because sema got two 
So there's, I ordered four and Seema got two. Evelyn says, that's okay, sweetie. I'm excited about the art stones. Yes, art stones coming in, other Prima um, stuff. is. There's lots of Prima stuff coming in. Lots of Prima, because I love Prima. I'm a Prima fanatic for years. I'm loving this, this look. This has got a nice little shine to it, and I'm loving it. And you can put a little bit of water just to kind of get it to flow. Okay. Sandra says, sounds like cool stuff. Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to, I'm trying to bring in new stuff, you know, kind of. Um. Denise says, I posted a link on your wall, May, on clay for you to try. That is awesome. So I hear anyways. Okay, I'll check it out. I'll give it a, I'll give it a look. Now we're going to go back. Prima also. Yes, I am a Prima fanatic guys i can't tell you how much i like prima i've liked prima since i first found out about a prima in 2012 and i have been no 2011 when miriam um, smith was doing stuff for them evelyn says is all the pre right of the wait is all the rice paper in the store uh, yes, all the rice paper is in the store. I wasn't sure. I know you had said you wanted rice paper. I wasn't sure which ones you wanted. So I did not set any aside, but they're all there. They're all there. And you guys got to see this house. I got to show you guys this. Hold on. I'm going to open mine because I'm going to teach it. I, there's limited quantities of this in the store. Look at this. Now, it doesn't come with paper, um, but this is one. It comes with the book, the little mini books. And then this is the House of Journals. And you build. Okay. Evelyn says she wanted the matching rice paper for each of the collections. Yeah, I don't think I got all the um, rice papers for all the collections. I think the only ones that I got was a couple from, like, I got Lady Compass from uh, SeaWorld. I got the Octopus from SeaWorld. I got the Seahorse from SeaWorld. And I think, I think as far as a collection, that's it. Um, I didn't get, I didn't get a lot of the, I didn't get a lot of the rice papers. I'm sorry. I can put more, you know, I can always order this stuff. Stamperia does ship pretty fast. My only concern was customs, but that's already taken care of. They got everything straightened out. But this is a, a book inside this little house. So you lift up the lid and there's a book inside. So I'm excited to work on that one. Super excited, but I am super excited about this Prima um metal or liquid stuff that's come out i was kind of skeptical because i thought man that stuff is expensive but this stuff is awesome and i saw her making some wonderful stuff with it and i'm like mm, i'm gonna have to use some gel medium to hold some of this down i'm liking it doesn't it look like it's been really rusty? Look at that. Does it not look like a natural rust and not something that we've made, handmade? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a natural rust. For sure, for sure. And that's what we want. We want a natural. See that embossing gave it that kind of rusty and capped look. And then I'm just going in with the umber and the burnt sienna to give it a nice little coat as well. I invoiced for the mold because I knew that those would um, those were in. Um, and those are yeah, it looks like it was found under the sea. Right? Um Harry, 
uh, is asking me how much do you charge for shipping or is it included in your pricing? It is not included in your pricing. Oh gosh, no. I wish I was I wish I could I wish I could do that, but shipping has gone up really bad. And it depends on how much you order. She's got Yeah. Yeah, and also the I mean I got the website fees and shipping fees, my, my own shipping fees and so yeah, no. Typically, the pre the the Stamperia paper sells for fourteen dollars, and I'm selling it for eleven twenty five. So, oh wow, that's awesome! Let me give this a little bit of gel medium in here because I think it needs a little bit of a booster in there. And I just use I I um I did get some um gel in. Do you guys can use any gel? Doesn't have to be being a name brand stuff, guys. Although I have to say, Prima stuff is awesome. I'm gonna get a bite of my cookie. Yes, they are, Denise. Denise says your prices are amazing. Yes, they are. Thank you. Okay. We got chipboard too. Um, there is a company. I think it's. I think it's coming from Dusty Attic. But where I buy, uh, my distributor has some chipboard laser. Designs of steampunk gears. Oh my god, or you guys got to see them when they come in. I'm excited. I can't wait Can't wait to get my hands on them Okay, so we decided we're going to go with that. We have cheesecloth and some other fray, fray, frilly stuff underneath. It gives it that nice look. Now, I'm going to get some Prima. I wish I had the avocado, but I don't have the avocado. Let's talk, try the, the tiger. The tiger orange on this piece here to give it a color pop. You don't need a whole lot of this stuff, just a little goes a long way. Oh, yeah. Very, the consistency of this is, I've never seen anything like it. Mm, I'm gonna put some in here because I like it. Kind of nice and rusty. You there, Mama? Yep. Um, you okay? Yeah, I was listening. So I use the tiger orange, and this will be in my order coming up. It's kind of nice, thick, rusty look to it. But it gives it a nice color variance here. Use some of that to go in here and make it even more rustier. The appearance of rust. That's what we're mimicking here.
for those of you guys who don't like rusty things, you can just make it pretty. Put some pretty little laces in there and a vintage little image. Um, and, you know, use, use what you have. You don't have to make it rusty. Yeah, you can make it shabby. Yeah, you can make it really shabby. You can put a nice pretty little image inside, um, some lace. You can go around the edge like I had told, told Yvonne and put a nice little like edging, like a gimp, a tiny gimp or something to go around the edge. Um, you can also put a little something to give it that 3D dimensional pop out look in the center and put an image. You don't have to particularly use rust. I have particularly, that's my personal preference. That's hot. Hot to the touch. Let's see what can we use to move that. I'm going to use some of this. Um, Aquamarine, just to give it almost like a shimmer of tarnished patina. Don't want a color pop on there. Ooh, I like that um that liquid paint kind of makes it look like I don't know like a blaze or something. I'm gonna have to ask Finnabar about that. that one out and that one because I am going to paint the face. That's the um, yellow, the tiger orange, and I use the aquamarine. Can you see that? See a little bit of the patina in there. You're quiet. Are you trying to get in? Are you trying to get in? Yeah, I got booted out. I am going to paint. 
I got booted out. My internet went. Hi, Tina. Hey, Miss Tina. All right, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do that. Let's wrap that up better. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. She put up. She put up a stop sign for you to see me. <laughs> she was like, "May stop." <laughs> and she is going to get painted. She had a little thingy here. I we remove that. She's gonna get painted. Not. Oh, she's got some little, well, that's too much. That's too much. All right, let's paint her. What color shall we paint her? Good question. Let's paint her. I've lost you guys. These are quiet. These are too quiet for me. Nah, you know what it is? It's uh. I'm gonna use this cashew people one. People are getting in their pajamas. They ate, so they're feeling like you know that comfiness that after you eat, you want to relax. It's a Waverly brand um, chalk paint, and it's the cashew. Um, Clint is saying, May, mom says hi, and Aaron said hi too. Hello, um, mom, and hello, Aaron. I forgot what your mom's name is, but hello, Aaron. Aaron is his sister. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not Picasso, so we are not going to um, paint her hair. Judy. Her name is Judy. Judy, yes. Hello, Miss Judy. So I'm not Picasso. I'm not painting her hair. I'm not doing all that. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's too much. Too much for me. Even I know when it's too much. Mm -hmm. What I might do is grab that paintbrush to reactivate some of this stuff here. Nope, that didn't work. Let's try. Let's try the umber. That's that liquid acrylic. I've never tried that before. It's my first time trying it. Got a cards? You're making cards, Clint? Look, I said I wasn't going to paint her here, and here I am painting her. I was just going to say. <laughs> I said I wasn't, but I did. Oh, how nice. Clint is making cards for the military. Oh, that's sweet. It's very sweet, Clint. 
Yes, it is. Military surely appreciates it. Men and women are out there doing the impossible. We have to say our men and women because you know when they do serve. Ooh, I give her a nice kind of um, olive color look there. I would test that on the back before you put it on the front. What are you talking about? Didn't you just say you want to paint your face? Or am I hearing things now? No, I was gonna. I, I, I no, I'm painting her face with that cashew. Uh uh. I'm gonna put a little bit of a rosy. I'm gonna take a, a alcohol marker, and I'm gonna put rosy, uh, rosy eyes and a uh, rosy cheeks and blue eyes. Denise said you painting her pretty. I'm not gonna do much with her. We're putting crackle on her in case you want, you're wondering. Put some lipstick on her. But she's going to get some crack, uh, embossing. It really is not going to matter too much what we do because she's going to get crackled. Or not crackled. Embossing. Just using the embossing ink. I'm going to emboss her with some um, ancient uh, Seth, uh, Seth Ector's ancient bee wax or whatever it's called. You get knocked out again? No, I'm here. Oh. You're okay. You sound kind of bummed out today. No, I'm just watching. You sure, Teresa's going off for coffee again, Miss Teresa. You're not inviting shame on you, Miss Teresa. I don't like you anymore. You're not inviting me to your coffee extravaganza. <laughs> I'm gonna use Seth's um baked texture. Oh boy, I was off on that one. Stranger alert, stranger danger, stranger danger. Stranger danger. <laughs> God, let me look over your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> I got some strangers in my craft. Oh, room. Q -tips. 
stuff. In the bathroom. You know, you had some in your room. In the park. Oh. Down there. Right, is it for your personal use? Those are for my craft use. Um, is it for your she's personal she's use? She's using it for one? crafting. She's what crafting. is she crafting? My Nails. ears. <laughs> Her earwax. She's shaking me. Guys, don't listen to my children. <laughs> Did she just say she's crafting her earwax? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought it was a man to read. I'm like, did I hear what I heard? I think I heard. Why are you entertaining the ladies today? Yeah, how are the ladies today? Ladies, the girls wants to know how are you guys doing today? Where did I put my cup at? That really looks good, man. With the hair painted like that. Rosy cheeks. I'm watching a documentary about baby mummies. Baby mummies? Baby mummies. And you. And, and baby mummies. Baby mummies. Hmm. And chili. And chili. We're going to use some of this Ranger's uh, Rusty Hinge. Tim Holtz. Clint says he's good. That how are you guys? He's answering your kids. Okay. The one child has uh, has left the building, Clint. The other child that is lingering around. Um, yeah. Yvonne says she's doing great. Also asking. I am Sam Fantastic. She's uh, fantastic, she said, Clint. Sam Fantastic. Sam Fran, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> it's like San Francisco with Sam Fantastic. Um, let's see, your brother would have that if I had any, because I gave him the last bit that I had. I don't know. Children. Yeah. Those, children Those children. I don't know. I need to trade them in for a new one. Is that possible? Can I trade you in for a new one? I don't think so. When my, when my kids were act up. Not when they were too young, like when they were like, mm, like between seven and ten, I would tell them I have to go back to the hospital and check the your fingerprints and your footprints <laughs> to make sure they didn't give me the wrong kid because my kid wouldn't misbehave. <laughs> that is hilarious. Mm -hmm. Are you being sarcastic, child? Do we need? Do we need? Do we need to have, I'm trying to give her a crackle look and you can use, um, what do you call it? Hi, happy Ray. Hey Ray, you can use a little bit of um, Elmer's glue to give it a crackle the fat. I'm just gonna dust off some of that stiff. With the bee wax and the, or the embossing bee wax, it kind of seals her in to make her look like porcelain. Yep, she looks like it. I would have messed that all up. She would have looked like, like a horror monster if I would try to do that. So now what I'm trying to go in is kind of give her a very almost like a rusty look. So we're probably going to go in with a little bit of the burnt sienna. It has a brown tone to it. it. has a little bit of a glaze as well. Just going to go underneath her. I, I said I wasn't going to color her, right? Your brother, did he play with you? 
Okay, he needs to because that was part of the agreement. If he wants to get that, he wants me to get that. He needs to play with you. <laughs> I'm busy. Busy doing what, my child? You made you made a deal with your kid to play uh, with your other kid. What's that? You made a deal with one kid to play with your other kid. Yes, because he's always always so busy. He doesn't want to play. Well, he's not busy. He just doesn't. No. He says, I'm sticky. I'm sticky. Um, he has to go in and play Minecraft with her for at least two hours. <laughs> <laughs> and he hasn't he hasn't fulfilled his end of the bargain. No. That means that that, that contract has been null and void. You do not have to comply to your end of the bargain. Hey, mommy, saves you money. Oh, yeah, it saves me money. All right. Look at that. Look Makes at that. Like um, an old porcelain doll. Yep. And you can put a little bit of um, Elmer's glue and give her a crackle effect if you have um, if you have that. What I do have, you know what I have? Oh, gosh, I forgot. We have Stamperia's. Yvonne says that is very cool. Thank you. We got Stamperia's crackle paste. So let's put a little bit on her and see. This is transparent. Um, I don't normally remove the stuff because that way that it preserves it a little. I'm going to use another small paintbrush because I don't want too much on her, but I just want to give her a little bit of a crackle. This is a big Like she got wrinkles. Like, yeah, like she's been cracked, underage. You know, a lot of those German dolls, um, Denise, <laughs> you're funny, Denise. She says, oh, my God, my youngest, who just turned 15, said, he just told me yesterday that he has a girlfriend. I smiled, and I think I went into shock for a bit. <laughs> you know, so more, but she's got to finish typing. You know, today. And then when he left the room, my eyes filled with tears because I don't want him to grow up yet. Oh. <laughs> too late. I know, too late. Well, my... Um... We had to go in to take, you know, my daughter, it's no secret. You guys all have known me for several years. And um, she's battled with um, really bad acne since she turned nine and a half, almost 10. She's been oh, having, early. yeah, she's had really bad acne. Um, I honestly think it's because she was always only wanting to eat chicken nuggets. That's all she ever wanted to eat. No. Nah. I, the hormones. No, I think so. There's. Hormones and like the McDonald's ones. Well, anyway. Um, so we finally got her on Accutane. Part of being on Accutane is that um, you have to pledge that you're going to have protected sex. You can't get pregnant because it causes birth defects. Um, and or abstinence. Well, today they asked her. Um, <laughs> she's got to. She's got to do that every month. You right. know? So they asked her, um, "Did you have any sex?" <laughs> he just looked at me because she'll be sixteen this month. Um, because she's never had a boyfriend. You know, she's. You know, she's my baby. <laughs> she just looked at and me, and that's why she'll never tell. You. She just looked at me with his little puppy eyes, like, are they asking me that most horrible question? <laughs> and I just buzzed it out laughing. I said, no, she's still, she's still a virgin. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's a hormonal thing, um, Patricia. She says her daughter, uh, her face was horrible in high school, and they put her on antibodies. Nothing was working until she had her first baby and she hadn't had any trouble since. Yeah, sometimes it's, it, it's when your body uh, goes through a change like that of having yeah. a baby, 
it just throws off your hormones and sometimes it's a good thing when it does to see her face got cleared up yeah yeah it's good i mean you know we've tried everything with brianna every product out there i mean we've spent so much money on her 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 stuff and nothing was working and so um they started her on accutane today um she finally went through all that but she's you know she's because Accutane has been known to cause severe birth defects, she's got to take a pregnancy test every month until <laughs> so the treatment's over. <laughs> How long is the treatment? Um, I asked today, they said about five to six months. It all depends on her body, how her body reacts to everything. And how old is she now again? She'll be 16 um, in 10 mm -hmm. days. 10 days, she'll be 16. So she was like, oh my God. But you yeah. know, she just, she laughed it. She, she thought it was a little bit funny. Um, in parts, she thought it was funny. <laughs> We're gonna go in. I'm gonna probably go in with a little bit of brass. Age brass. spray it with the um, aquamarine baby white baby white come to the rescue you don't want it to sit <laughs> Didn't like that aquamarine on him. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, she will look pretty. Who's tapping? No one's tapping. There are two bangs. See, I don't have patience for that for what you're doing right now. The eyes and the oh my goodness. Look at that. Well, I said I wasn't gonna color her, but then there I went and colored her. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're done with her. I think I'm comfortable with how she looks aged. Now she looks better. Now, yeah, she looks a lot better. All right. Wow. So let's get some of this stuff. Want to fill that up with stuff. I'm going to use scraps of laces and stuff just to fill it in. Move things around wherever, wherever. Let me get the. 
We're using gel medium. Let's do that. That's going to be that one. I'm just trying to see that. Huh. They were discussing in the group, you know, teenagers and whatever, with boyfriends and girlfriends. And Clint said, I had that he had one uh, a girl he was interested in. And unfortunately, the young lady's mother passed away, and the young girl had to go into a group home. So he misses her. Aww. Oh, and the way he says young lady, his mom, Judy, you did good raising him. You're out he didn't say young lady. He said girl. I said young lady. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, still, so she's still raising him good. Okay. Here goes a crafty question for you, and you could take it. Denise is asking, what is a gel medium? Gel medium is an, like an adhesive. You use it for like heavy body. Like this is from um, Hobby Lobby. Uh, master's touch brand it does really good with putting down heavy things like if you're gluing down it's an adhesive basically just an adhesive a fancy term you can put color to it you can do whatever to it um but it's a it's an adhesive thank you she says oh i forgot my wine how could I forgot? You know, I haven't I used to use this stuff so much. What did you forget? I forgot my twine. Oh. Weren't you going to put another yellow uh, metal piece behind her? No. No, I, I put that one, just that one. Wondering why is that not so filled up? And it typically dries pretty fast, it really does. Just try to remove some of it. That's too much. No, that's good. No, the gel medium. You can put some like little mica powders or something, pearls in there, dust, whatever. That's where those little sandstones would have been really nice to have. Work with what you got, do what you got, and make do with it. And that looks like a little crown on her. Yeah. A bug flying around here. I don't know where that bug come from. Eric opened up the darn door the other day. The bug has been coming in. I have a fly in the house. Is it that time of the year already? And those annoying little pests. 
and coming around. Mm. You haven't worn a bra since you had to stay home. Huh? Denise says she hasn't worn a bra since she, they, you know, that we've been quarantined. She hasn't worn a bra? Mm -hmm. I, I've heard a few people saying that that they've been braless since they don't go out. We were going to put this here and we totally spurged it out. So we're going to clear it out. I'm going to put that there, but no. oh, it's since it's snow today, we're not going to see the stink bugs either. And I don't like those things. Dog, come here. Do you have to go to the bathroom? I'll be right back. Let me let this dog out. We're going to put this knob on there. So we're going to probably have to let it sit for a little bit. That's going to go in the top. And go through your scraps and stuff. You'd be surprised what you find. wanted that up there so I can put a message. Okay, hold on. Give me a second, guys. Kind of like, let's see, can you move that way by itself? No. I like it like this. You see that? this little guy once he dries up the knob the knob will go here what do you guys think Just using vintage photos.
Just photos. Thanks, guys. And what's under there? Hold on to that. Put a little bit of glue glaze. Let's put a little bit of glaze in. I think that'd be good. And this color like that, the brass kind of gives it a nice pop of color as well. Okay, I'm back. You sound like you're like, what's wrong? Nothing, I don't know. I don't know. What's wrong? You don't sound right. I'm fine. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, there. I'm suspirando mucho. Everything all right there? Mm -hmm. I've had uh, my coffee and I got myself a little tiny piece of cake. Anything troubling you? Hmm? What? Is anything troubling you? Nah. I was thinking about putting that cork. So we're going to probably paint this cork. Where's my brother? Hi, Miss Joyce. I didn't even see you coming. Miss Joyce has been here for a while. Yeah, but she's been quiet. She's been quiet. She's the quiet meister. Miss Joyce, are you the quiet meister? We're going to go with the umber to give it a little green pot there. And these are the um, liquid acrylics. Kind of creamy. Oh, my, my desk looks hor horrifying right now. Horrifying. Joy says, I have been watching and behaving. <laughs> She's been a good girl, I saw. That's why I thought she wasn't here, because she didn't say anything, so she's been quiet. She's like me. You know one of those things? You just be quiet. No, I'm very talkative. <laughs> Very talkative, so and if you're gonna ask me where did I get this, this is an upcycle from the bottle we used the other day. I took the cork off the bottle and, and <laughs> saved it. How was your pizza? It was good. What kind was it? It was um cheese with tomato. Mm. Tomato and what? Just cheese and tomato. Cheese and tomato, that's it? You know, extra cheese and extra tomato. No pepperoni, no. Miguel is vegetarian, no pepperoni. Oh my God! But he could have given you half. Yeah, he could have. Yeah, no. Yeah, you know, 
but he hates peeling them off, but that's okay. I don't mind. They filled me up. They did? Mm-hmm. There's still a, a couple of slices over there. Oh, I like the East Coast pizza. They're like the thin one. They flop over. Greasy. Oh. Good night, Clint. Good night, Clint. Like the New York style pizza. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. That is like the best pizza ever. All right, guys. I'm cleaning my hands. Y'all know how I am about my hands. Mm -hmm. I like how you put the, the create art on the metal piece. It frames it out nicely. Mm -hmm. God, that gel, when it gets in your hands, jeez, stuff is hard to get off. All right, we're going to go in. I'm going to use a little bit of the burnt. Sienna. That stuff is really thick. I've never seen anything like that. Thick, thick. Look at that. It's like really thick acrylic. It says liquid acrylic. I was, I, I was expecting like liquid, liquid. Right. It's kind of like glazy. Hmm. That's what I was expecting. Like real liquid. Look, you can change colors on your metals. Almost like, it gives me that impression of almost like, I'm going to have to ask Finnebar about that, about this. This is my first time trying it, so I'm going to have a million questions for her. But it gives me the impression of like alcohol, because look, you notice me trying to clean it off my mat? Mm -hmm. Like alcohol? But not, but thicker, like not watery. Hmm. It's weird. Weird stuff. There's some, there's some witchcraft going on you in that bottle. Control over it, so you have control. Of, so you have control over it. They formulate it so it doesn't yeah. spread all over the. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, with the alcohol markers or the alcohol inks, it's li really liquidy. And it's runny. Well, this has almost that ability because I mean, hello, look, this is this is coloring this metal. This is not. This does not look like paint, acrylic paint. Like to, it's mm -hmm. not. You have to see it to, to to understand the difference between an acrylic paint. I'm gonna have to read this up. I'm, I've never used it. It's doesn't look like acrylic paint. Do y'all know what I'm trying to say? It's just like not, it's glazy. The fact what that- the, What does the, the, the packaging say? Is it a glaze? A glazed paint? Oh my God, may not be. Um, call our high quality liquid acrylic paints with amazing, vibrant, rich color and a glossy semi-translucent finish. There you go. They are water soluble when wet. Not really. I wouldn't say it's so much water soluble because did you see me trying to spray it? It's just, I don't know. It's glazy. Yeah, it's glazy. But this almost has a, gives me a, the impression of almost like alcohol. Like, you know, when you're using alcohol inks. That's how I'm, I'm getting. That's the impression I'm getting. I don't know. That's what it. This is got supposedly. It's got some voodoo stuff in there. I don't know. <laughs> got some voodoo magic stuff in there. And it, you know what? It when it dries, it dries like bubbly. It dries bubbly. Yeah, it's like. That's what I'm saying. It's got an it gives me the feel of like 
like something alcohol-y in there. I don't know. It says water soluble, but and obviously it is because I was able to. But you can do that too with alcohol inks. Laura says, "Love voodoo, lol voodoo stuff." <laughs> Got some voodoo magic in there. I don't know. Weird. I'm telling you, Laura, this is weird voodoo magic stuff. <laughs> it's magical. Do that voodoo that you do so well. Juicy. I'm gonna go in with the umber because it has a, like an like, like a greenish tone to it. Just to bring on the sorcery. <laughs> yeah, it's a sorcery. Oh my god, what is in this bottle? What did they put in here? It's it's really a potion. I think so. They're trying. They're they're trying to trick our minds into believing this is paint. This is not paint. Somebody's trying to get us. I'm gonna go in, tap in. It doesn't like list ingredients. Mm -hmm. What they used. Let's see. They are water soluble when wet, permanent when dry liquid, color acrylic paint are perfect for traditional painting technique in a variety of popular mixed media techniques such as stamping, gel printing, creating drips and splatters, and much more. For even more inspiring results, use it in combination with art alchemy liquid color fluid medium which will add more transparency to your color. See, I don't see that as, I don't know. I don't see that fluid consistency. I don't see that as a fluid consistency. Paints make them an ideal medium for collage, art journaling, mixed media painting. They can be applied with brushes, work well with fine tip throttle, diluted with water. They can be sprayed and will dry permanent um, causes serious eye irritation, wash thoroughly after handling, wear protective gloves. It doesn't tell me what's in it. Hmm. Wait, alpha, alkali polyurethane, which is a glaze. Right. And that's it. Hmm. Oscar, what do you do when you stop at mid-walk? Where, where are you? Let me go check on this dog. Come here. He was like walking straight over here to hear clicking along the wood floors and all of a sudden he stops, which means he's getting into mischief. Right down. He's getting into mischief? Yeah. Bravieso. Yes, he is. Uy, está caliente, coño. It's really cold outside, man. Is it? I can't believe yeah. we were beating it. Here it is. No. It's supposed to be almost spring. What the heck? Look at that. It's a lot harder to clean up. It's not like that is not your typical acrylic. I'm sorry. That is not your typical acrylic. But that's what modern, it is. modern day acrylic. A modern day acrylic, that's what it is. Shoot. I'm going to go with the patina blue.
Oh, Sandra's back. Her iPad had died. Welcome back, 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 back again. We're still here, Sandra. We just figured out some, some, some primo witchcraft. Laura says she's getting sleepy already. Weird. I haven't even taken my med yet. Am I putting you asleep, Laura? That's a bad sign. That means I'm I'm not doing my job of entertaining you. My good job of entertaining you, Laura. Denise says I can't sleep without meds. Also, I get sleepy, but won't fall asleep. I'm doing my job. I'm not doing my job, people. Going with the grass, age grass, that is. Laura says, no, May, not your fault. I'm just very relaxed right now after a busy day. What you do? Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like really relaxed. What did you do today? What did you guys do today? Nothing. We're all at home. Well, yesterday, well, when we were logged in, um, Lourdes goes, don't start that yawning. <laughs> I was yawning. I was yawning hardcore. We're all stuck at home. Sometimes I think I'm a part of the furniture, you know, part of the chair. I was his, his class today because he had to go to bed early in his class. It was okay. He had some meetings. You did. He What's did the last meetings. day of school? When's his finals? When's your finals, puppy? I have two weeks left. Oh. I'm, I should have been working on a research paper today since it's due in three weeks, but okay. I have That's no fine. energy. You have plenty of time. Everybody's feeling like that. All bleh. I think I think it's the, the coronavirus is doing that to people because. Don't worry, I have a trick up on my sleeve. It's called my mom helping me out. You didn't send me the information. Your mom's helping you with your score? Yeah. I, I mean, I told you I'm going to college again. I heard your mom is really good at writing papers. Yeah. Actually, that's my doing. She just, I just make her read it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Teresa says that paint reminds me of oil paints, but you add linseed oil or turpentine to make it fluid or transparent. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I am thinking around there. There's just something different about it. I've never seen it, but it's a little different. It's a little different, I have to say. Yvonne says, been doing yard work all week, but it rained today, so took a day off and watched movies. Ooh, Ooh movies. I'm not good at yard work. I have a green, I don't have a green thumb. I have a black thumb, literally a black thumb. I can't plant to save my life. I can't. We tried. We failed. Rihanna's now in charge of the garden. I overlook at it, but. <laughs> Denise says, I am not helping my kids. I'm clueless as to what they are doing. They tell me nothing. <laughs> That's going to go there once we get it. What do you guys think? Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. And then this is going to go there. Oops. There. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. We just got to get that glue to sit right. We got to get this to dry really well. Might have to screw it in. But that's going to go there. I'll probably have to end up putting the pictures in the group of what it looks like. Yvonne says, awesome. Eve Evelyn says, love it. Laura says, gorgeous, May. Love it. Denise says, perfect. There. 
where you had it. I'm going to put that there. But we might have to do something about that. But this is going to go right here, right smack in there. And then this is going to be the base where it sits. You know? So it's sitting, see? Oh, a little stand. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll put some wax on that. I'm going to use the aged wax. It's when it's put in the title of a video that they penalize you. Yes, that's what I heard too. Yeah, you can't put, yeah, you can't put, they penalize you. And and the other message that I got in the back is no cussing. You know, I have, they ask you if you cussed before they publish your video. Did you cuss in the video? Oh, Yesterday, the, the last video that I post, posted, um, because I haven't done any recorded Too videos. Too much control issues with, with this. He's YouTube. I think it's BS. Mm -hmm. BS. You ask me. You guys, you know, I I think I'm a very messy crafter. I start out with a clean desk, with a clean room. I end up with everything everywhere but where it needs to go. Um, I'm a very messy crafter. I just came to terms that I'm very messy. All right, let's put this bottom. Everybody's like that. Sandra says, I'm messy. I don't know. I've never heard of anyone being a neat crafter. Has anybody ever heard that or seen somebody that... I've seen those nice, fancy craft rooms that look like they never touched it. Yeah, because they, they, they clean it. They show you the clean version. They don't show you the mess. Laura says, that's because they don't craft. Sand is a messy crafter, too. Exactly, Yvonne. There are YouTubers out there with one million plus subscribers, and they drop cuss words all the time. Yes, I know. That's what I said when I saw that yeah, the other day when we went live, and they asked me that I had to say whether or not I had cuss words in my videos. I'm like, what? Before they could monetize my channel, I had to, before the, the video, I had to say the, um, what do you call it? Uh, disclose whether or not I um, said any cuss words. And I'm well, like, it doesn't make sense for them to ask you that when you're loading up. I'm afraid of a speech for crying out loud. Not, not only that, but you were live. You know what I'm saying? So if you did, I I don't I well I didn't remember. So you know there goes a channel that didn't get mon a video that didn't get monetized because I was like, damn, well, I'm sure I'm pretty sure we dropped the f bomb somewhere or at least some kind of a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> you know. All right, guys, I'm thinking that is what we're doing. I think, I think, I think, I think that is what we will do. And I'm going to lift it up just a tad bit so you can see what she looks like. A cork, sardine can, a packaging from Prima. And this little piece here was from Hobby Lobby. And one of the filigrees from my shop some scraps of laces and things like that 
another filigree from my shop, Tim Holtz. And a handle, anything, and that's going to go on the top like so. So it'll look like the that. Says it's really gorgeous, Meg. It'll look like that, and it will stand because of that cork. Now, the cork, you're going to ask me where did I get the cork. These are from bottles that I removed when I altered some bottles. They were Hobby Lobby bottles, but not plenty of corks because I pull them out when I've altered them for Halloween. Laura says, love it. It looks so deliciously old. Doesn't it? Teresa says, very nice. X O. Alrighty. It says it came out very nice. Yes, it did. But you need to put a hanging piece. Now it's going to sit. Oh, oh, that's right. You got the little stand. Yeah, mm -hmm. this one's going to be different. It's going to sit. It's going to got the cork and it stands on the cork like so. And, um, but look at all the lustrous, can I see? Denise says, my son is a bartender, so I have lots of quirks. <laughs> so basically, there's not a whole lot in here other than, I mean, I'm sure you guys got tons of paints and tons of good stuff that you can, you know, uh, paints and whatever, whatever that you can use. Evelyn says it looks like it was found in an antique treasure box. Mm -hmm. Patricia mm -hmm. says, did you put all the bathroom projects in your bathroom yet, May? No, because we're working on, we're going to be stripping our floors. So not yet, Miss Sandra. Even I love you. it. Another question, Sandra says, is it, is it an old lady? She looks Victorian to me. She looks Victorian, yeah, but she's actually one of these um, pieces that's in my store. These are um, Prima cast resins. Um, that's what it is, nothing fancy. You can use anything, actually. actually a, you, try a, a Barbie head, anything, guys. Mm -hmm. Go to your house, dig through stuff. You know, you might have a Barbie head. You can use a Barbie head if you want. Oh, you could use one of an animal head too. You know, those little tiny animal heads. Yeah, you can use head of deer. <laughs> Darn sounds weird coming from you. What is? Laura says, I think she looks younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do the same thing with your Altoid cans if you have one of those. Gloria says, wow, may perfection. And then on this here, what I think I'm going to do is, because it has, um, in fact, you know, um, it has the, um, this is the lid that, that came, oh, I didn't even paint that right. I missed a spot, guys. I'm going to alter this one with you guys. Do you guys mind? Lourdes, if you need to go sleep, go sleep, hon, because I know you're tired and I know you get up early. May you could have glued that on the back and used it as a wall hanger. That's from Laura. I want what? Kendra says, alter away. Evelyn says, don't mind it all. Patricia says, would love it. Okay. All right. So well, you know. onward we go. So we're going to go in with some of this rest stuff. Red rust.
and Teresa says, still brushing my hair. Onward. <laughs> LOL. And she's got long hair. Yeah. She's got some massive long hair. So it behooves her for you to continue so she doesn't fall asleep brushing her hair. Questions from Sandra. Mm -hmm. Does anyone with menopause get scared easily? Mm -hmm. No. I don't think that's one of the symptoms or side effects. I've never heard that before. No, me either. Emotional, yes. Cranky, yes. You know, moody. But startled, scared easily? Mm -hmm. No. Teresa says, LOL, nope, you keep me from cussing and cutting my hair, LOL. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yvonne says, the hubby and I started going vegetarian on January 1st. I have, one, I have one tin of smo smoked oysters left. This gives me an excuse to crack it open. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> How's the vegetarian thing? Have you lost? I hear, I hear you could lose a lot of weight from it. I'm just not, I'm not good at dieting. I am not. I am horrible at that stuff, man. There's no such thing as dieting because I'm a sweet, I have a sweet tooth and no one can tell me no to sweets. I can probably stay off of it for maybe, oh God, maybe a day or two. Laura's expecting more big storms moving in. She's going to sleep good tonight. <laughs> oh, I love sleeping through storms. Yep. I love it. And when it's windy. Oh, yes. Like, yeah. it does, doesn't it like make you, I don't know, it makes me feel like alive. Yeah. Alive and it like relaxes you. It, yeah, it's, like weird. Weird. it's weird. I'm telling you, I'm weird. My daughter. And, and when it rains like that and it's windy. Uh -huh. You when you hear the wind whistling? Mm -hmm. I like the sound. You love sweets too, Miss Patricia? I know I can't do diets because of that because I'm a, I have such a horrible sweet tooth. <laughs> I can't say no. Horrible. Go with it. You supply it however long, you know, there's no rhyme or reason to this. Really. Yeah, in the summer when it's nice to keep the window open, Patricia, yes. I like, when in summer, rain, you know what I like is to, to feel the wind, hear the wind, the breeze and the trees. <gasps> That's like life, guys. It's so, so, I don't know. It gives me life to hear it. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Deborah. We're still over here doing some crafty craziness. Ooh, we won lost 25 pounds. And so Ooh, congratulations. That's awesome. Yes, it is. Where are you getting your, your recipes from? What are you eating, first of all? She just, didn't she just say she was yeah, she's a vegetarian. So, isn't that what your son's doing? Yes, you could see the difference. I don't know why going. But I've heard that stuff is it could it could be bad for your liver. No, so long as you get in the protein, you're good. So you gotta eat protein. I mean, I like tofu. Oh, I love tofu. Yeah. I love tofu. I could see Miguel's body changing. It's it's toned now. It's not as flabby. Oh yeah. Yeah. How's his other? I mean, how's his health otherwise? It's good. Is it? He hasn't had any. Uh, it's it's helped him. Really? He hasn't had any. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Oh my goodness. I have it in my head and it's not coming out. He he seems to he hasn't had an anxiety or having to use his uh 
Om inhaler. Mm -hmm. So, and he seems to have more energy. We're gonna go in with the burnt sienna. Look at that little man. He's so cute. There's some on the lid, so I'm gonna make this with that little man on the side. <laughs> that little man's getting on my nerves. But this is the burnt sienna. Like I said, this is this is like beauty magic. I don't know what the heck this is. I like it. While you're back there, sign and date your project. Who? You. You're working on the back. Sign and date it. I never, I, I seldomly, seldomly. You should. Do that. I don't consider myself that kind of a practice. Not a cocky crafter, I guess. There's some people that are cocky about their work. Ah. No, that doesn't have anything to do with cocky. Mm -hmm. some, your, some children are gonna, your children are going to inherit these these projects. And when they turn it around. They I think my craft projects are in other people's homes. <laughs> well, you got some there for your family. And, and when they turn your project around and they see your name and your handwriting. I've been I've been crafting since officially with live on videos since 2011. And let me tell you, I could probably count with one hand how or two hands maybe how many projects I have left here. That's why you should sign and date them for your children. And your grandchildren. Guys, this stuff is some crack on bottle. I'm telling you, this is some crack on a bottle. I'm loving this stuff. I don't know what the heck Benavar put in here. This is crack on a bottle. You wet it, it kind of activates something in here. Crack on a bottle. In a bottle. In a bottle, yes. That's my English. No, we win. Okay, Sandra has a question. What happened to your other channel? Uh, my husband took it down. It bubbles up like it's, I don't know why it, it's. I mean, I, I like the bubble. I mean, if you don't like the bubble effect, because to me, the bubble effect gives it texture. And I'm sorry, but this stuff is some serious crack on a bottle. It is some, I like it. I love it. I don't like it. I love it. Do you still have the videos? Not all the videos. I have some of the videos, just not all. This is the uh, Tiger Orange. Some I do, some I don't. Are you looking for anything in particular? Yeah, what are you looking for? I might have a video. Might. Who knows? I don't know. For May's mental health and well-being, hubby took it down. Yes. And he didn't think of saving the videos. <laughs> no. He only thought of saving me. No, she doesn't have anything she's looking for. She was just asking. Okay, yeah, no, my husband took it down. Sorry. Look at that. Ah, 
long. I'm not even being careful how I put this in. I'm just brushing it on. Go in with the under, un, un, how do you say that in English? Umber? What? Un, umber, umber. Oh, I just got that. Umber, U M B E R? Or A M B E R? U M. Umber. Umber. Teresa says, I have a lot of them opener, openers attached to cans and soda pop. Don't know what to do with them. If you make albums, you could use them to. Make a corset binding. Mm -hmm. You could use them to make um clip it, clip a note on it. Clip a note on it, put it um uh, hang a snippet strip to it. Yeah. With your tiny little scraps. You make it a little mini clip clipboard. Yep. Yeah. You could use them, you could use it as a a, a hanger. On the back of your projects. Yep. And there was something else I saw. Oh, you can make a chain out of them, but I forgot how they were linked. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the yellow, which is true yellow. Bring in a little bit of a different color in there. Not really yellow. It looks like pea. <laughs> no, you know what it looks like? It looks like baby poop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the, the yeah, that that's what I meant. Like the baby, like the or yeah. that pee that pee baby food. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Sure, I like that color. I think I like the orange better. Ooh, I just peeled off. That's good. I just peeled off some. All right. Let's go in a little bit. Let's see what this is going to do. This is the rusty. I'm just experimenting right now. Tim Holtz rusty. Ladder of Tim Holtz rusty hinge. Get a splatter of Stamperia's aqua. Aquamarine. doesn't seem to pop in much but it's probably because i got a lot of deep colors in there but let's see what are we doing scraps of something 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 something
Deborah, she altered a sardine tin. The project that you see to the left of your screen is what she made, and now she's working on the back. Yeah, this is this is what we made. This is a sardine tin. This is a cork that I got from a bottle. This inside is the packaging from Prima's Packagings. It's one of these. It's that right there. And then this is one of the um, relics um, and fil filigrees from my shop. And this is a uh, Hobby Lobby piece of bling. Some various cheesecloth and scraps. So that's what we did. And then this is the cap, the lid that was on. Um, I like to do series of layers, a series of layers, not series of layers. And this is where my hot glue gun should have been here. Um, Very nice. Hot glue sticks, not hot glue gun. I have a gun. I don't have the sticks. Um, right there. I just do random layering, and then we'll find the vintage image. I did get some of the Finnebar's vintage images, and I like to just randomly throw things together. And we'll find a random. Deborah loves a woman's head. There's a scrap of this. We could probably put that as a bow there, so we're going to leave that there. Put that there. Let's find an image. I like that little ensemble. Um, and then we can probably clip the image down like that. You don't want to mess with these too much because remember that's the pull cap. But I like that. So we're going to go ahead and ensemble that. This is where I needed my groove on. The sun has kidnapped. You're getting chilly again? Yeah. I took off my sweater and now I'm chilly again. Now I'm going to put my sweater back on. I always find that. Fabric tack is wonderful for paper. I love it, but I always find it takes longer for fabric than with paper. I don't know why. I'm getting my grody, grody hands in there, but that's okay because I like grody, grody grungy. Good God, look. Magic. Elevate the cheesecloth. Elevate the cheesecloth. There's a spirit in here. Look, the spirit is moving the cheesecloth. Sorry, I had, to, I had to make you guys laugh somewhere. Y'all too serious today. It's a relaxing day. It's like a mellow day today. Mellow, yellow. For me, for me it's a mellow day. You didn't go see your parents today? No. Once a week, unless they need me for anything else. I I speak to them. I speak to mom because dad can't hear. So he can't hear? No. He was losing his hearing a long time ago when someone tried to kill him, an employee. What? 
Yeah. Many years ago, dad was a supervisor. In fact, and there was this female employee and she was, you know, when they, he did plastics, you know, the garbage bags and the Oreo packaging and all that. They, they did all that, but mostly plastic bags. Uh -huh. And when the machines would jam, you're supposed to push the emergency stop button mm -hmm. so it doesn't break. Well, this one employee, she would just stand there because she knew if the machine breaks, then she would, she, would, she would get paid for doing nothing while the mechanic would come and fix it. So dad gave her plenty of, t of chances and warnings. And one day he had enough and he fired her. And the boyfriend was working there. He waited till dad went to a part of the factory that there was nobody there. There were like um, extra parts and machines and stuff that they kept. And he went down to get something and the guy went behind him and struck him from behind with a metal, uh, a metal, uh, almost like a metal, metal tube, metal bar and crushed his skull in and and then he would he took him and he beat him up he kicked him and beat him up and then he went and got water and threw it on him put that into shock and where he crushed his skull on that side dad lost part of his hearing and now that he's older it's affected him yeah it's gotten worse and he refuses to get a hearing aid because that's for viejos old people and he's not, he's he's not a how should I say he knows he's old but he he says he's fine and he he can't hear anybody on the phone you know and, so, and we do a lot of repeating for him aside from the fact that he has the dementia we got to make sure that we're talking on the on the good side of where he can hear. Did he press charges on the person that did that to your dad? Um, he, uh, dad couldn't pinpoint him. Dad, when he went to court, everybody saw him. The guy, when he went down with the buckets of water to throw it on dad. And then he dragged dad to a machine to make it look like, because there was a machine working down there. And dad went to get a part and to check on a machine. Uh -huh. And when the guy saw that, you know, that dad wasn't moving after, you know, he beat him up and everything. He went and got water and threw it on dad. And that's when the people, of the, you know, the employees saw him go down with the buckets and they were like wondering what the hell. But dad couldn't pinpoint him because all he, he, he got him from behind. He got him from behind it and all he saw was somebody's hand and the bar coming. He couldn't identify him. He couldn't. But you know what? God is good. The guy ended up going for jail, to jail anyway because he killed that girl, the, the employee that dad fired. Oh, he my killed, God. He killed that girl's mother. <gasps> so he didn't go to jail for, for what dad did, but he, you know, he went to jail for something else. God made sure that he went to jail. Arm is a bitch. Yep. No, it wasn't my dad's business. But they, they they were good to my dad. They paid him a salary, you know, and they paid whatever the insurance didn't pay. They paid it. Um, they saved his job. He was able to, when he was able to go back. He you know he had a job. What about the girl? Whatever happened to her? She disappeared. She didn't get press charges, nothing? Against, for what? For her mother? I don't know. We don't know how that case no, ended. No, for, I mean, that's almost like attempt to, I mean, uh, what do you call it? Um, murder for her. Uh, he, uh, she didn't tell him to go kill my dad. How do you know? The guy was crazy because he killed her mother. He killed her mother. He was pissed that dad fired his girlfriend and he couldn't watch her. He was a controlling nut. And uh, rumor had it, you know, the stories we heard after we found out about the girl's mother, 
was that the girl's mother didn't like him and was co and convinced her to leave him, and she did. So he went and killed her mother. What? Yep. He was a controlling nut. Your dad, bless his heart, he's lucky to be alive and it, you know, that that's they they paid that the factory was very good. They paid dad's salary and and they paid the you know the medical that the insurance didn't cover, the factory picked it up. The factory didn't do anything wrong. On the contrary, they kept us with the roof over our head and food in our stomachs. Dad worked for them for, he worked 30-something mm, years, 40 years. Wow. Yeah. On days that we didn't have school and during the summer, we would go, me and my sister, and we'd work in the factory. And and they would take a collection and we'd get a couple of bucks. Because <laughs> we weren't supposed to be there, but. All right, this is like an old wax paper that I had laying around here. It's like it's duplicated. And this is a little girl that we had laying around. That image, we're going to put her there. We're going to put this here. We're going to alter that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. No, Sandra. They, the girl would break, literally allow the machine to break because she knew she would get paid just to stand there while the machines were being repaired. In other words, she was earning money that she didn't earn. She was receiving pay that she didn't earn. She would deliberately cost the company more money because then they couldn't get their orders out. Not to mention the parts that they would have to, you know, purchase to replace. She didn't want to be working at the factory, so she would stand there, and when the machine would snag, she's supposed to push the emergency button to stop it so the gears wouldn't jam and break the machine. So, And the button was right next to her. So she was crazy. She, was yeah. she, would, she wouldn't push the button so the machine would break, and then she'd have to sit in the coffee room while they fixed it. You know, and dad said, no, we can't have that. It was costing too much money. No, she got, she was getting paid. That's what, what she wanted was to get paid for doing nothing. She was lazy. Yeah. Yeah, I was 14 when that happened. He wasn't supposed to survive that. He's got a hole in When he went back for the second surgery, to, they were going to put a, a metal plate. Um, he wasn't supposed to survive the surgery. The doctors were amazed with his uh, recovery. How old was your dad? Uh, let me see. I think that maybe that's what caused his, um, his Alzheimer's. No. He has a history. The, 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 the dementia started after his heart attack, which is an uh which can happen. When you have uh open heart surgery, uh -huh. there's a good chance that it could trigger dementia or and or Alzheimer's. Oh. Because up until then, no problem. You know, it, it, it was uh after that he was still working for a long while. And then he retired and did nothing and didn't exercise his mind. All right, guys, this is just an ensemble, quick ensemble. Dad was like maybe 42 when that happened. Hmm. 
Let me like it there down here. Now let's do it down here. That's better. No, he was 40. He was 40? He was young. Yeah, yeah. So the guy's in prison now? Last I heard, he was. Well, that was horrible what he did to her mom, but like you said, karma. Mm -hmm. Karma has a nice way of visiting you. Mm -hmm. When they called mom to let her let her know, um, I had to get on the phone because mom didn't know the English back then, and I had to I had to translate. She had to wake me up in the middle because dad were always work graveyard. And she woke me up and said, you got to talk to this, you know, this person on the phone from daddy's job and tell me what they're saying. And then she called my aunt and they went to the cab down to Yonkers from the Bronx. And when she came back, she said it was a pool of blood. A pool of blood. Anyway, he went to, this man has nine lives. Because after, uh, after the surgery and everything, and they took the dent out of his head, he has, um, they had to remove the part of the skull that was crushed. So his brain was exposed, covered only by the skin on his uh, scalp, you know, his scalp. And he went back to get a metal plate put in because if he were to get knocked in the head, he would die. Because the only thing covering his head was a, uh, the scalp and he went and that's when he he died for the second time because it turns out he's allergic to iodine based dyes mm. and he went in and they had to do the um where they put the, the the ink so they could look on the screen you know where everything's flowing mm -hmm. and we nobody knew he didn't know that he was allergic to that, but he found out that day and found out the hard way. Yeah, the hard way. And he came back and he never wow. went back. He never went back. He still has just the scalp covering his brain on the right side of his head. Because he says, Nope, I died twice. The third time, I don't it's not I'm not gonna come back. <laughs> He's not guaranteed he ain't stupid. Yeah. So he didn't go back. He did not go back. He's like, I'm not going back. I'm not stupid. Yep. Look at Laura. She says, I hope he's getting pumped by Bubba right now. I hope so, too. And dad had hair back then, and they had to shave his whole head, and we used to bring him lollipops and call him Telly Savalas. Oh, my God. There you go, guys. There's the ensemble. Gorgeous. Look at that. Let's see. Is she crooked? Beautiful. All right. There we go. We finished the lid. There's the back. Clip on. Hit it onto any little project you have, any whatever, whatever. Oh, it is. Wow. Very cool. Be brave. Yeah. Yes, be brave, guys. Be brave. Don't be afraid to use your scraps or whatever you have laying around to create beautiful projects. Mm -hmm. So, even with a lid, we were able to create something. So, guys, I am just waiting for my lid, my this year piece of glue uh, uh, dry up. And um, that'll be the last part. I will take pictures of it. And um, I gotta wash up my stuff. Patricia says, Awesome, May. Laura says, Beautiful. Oh, excuse me. Hiccup. But that, my friend, is all for tonight. And that's a wrap. But if you have no scraps, you can buy stuff from May to create scraps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yes. Yes, it is. That's very good. That is very good <laughs> way of looking at it, too. Go through your house. I'm sure you guys have old shirts, old dresses, you know, old, you know, it might sound weird, but even bras has lace, old panties mm -hmm. have lace. You know, um, your kids. Just don't take it from the crotch, okay? Yeah. Just don't yeah. It. yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want it from the crotch, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, go through your stuff. You'd be surprised what you guys can find. See, I like all these little scraps. I never throw this stuff away. You guys probably think I do throw this stuff away. Nope, not a, don't, not a Shabbat. I don't throw anything away. <laughs> As you can see, this is from a previous project. And look, it's still sitting here. I don't throw nothing away. Mm -hmm. Debbie says, very nice, May. Sandra says, great projects turned out great. Mm -hmm. And Sandra says again, yep, lacy chonies. <laughs> lacy chonies, old, old um, nightgowns, anything. Go yep. through the closet. You'd be surprised. What old top you have laying in your closet that has that you don't wear anymore? Don't wear right. Um, call up if your mom is still alive, call up your mom because you know your mom has some lace in her closet. Or your grandkids, you know, they got little ruffly things if you got girls. Coffee diet, if you coffee diet, tea diet, avocado diet, you'll make it look old. Um, I just make a big bash of it, dump it in there, and then. Lay it out to get dried, and that's it. That's all you do. That's Laura, all. Laura says, next week, May is altering a tuna can with leftover chicken bones and lace scraps. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> but you know what? You'd be surprised what you can create from scraps. I don't even throw away that. I don't throw away anything, guys. I don't. I try to save everything. This will be used in something eventually. Um <laughs> Yvonne says, yep, I used to donate to Goodwill and now I cut things up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, I don't don't I used to donate to Goodwill, but they the CEO makes too much money off mm -hmm. of our donations. Yep. So, and he doesn't do much to help the needy. But I I encourage you guys um to create and create anything fabulous. Go through. Um and see what you can pull out from your scraps and you'll be surprised what you can make mm -hmm. okay so our next project is going to be hmm, let me think hmm. what do we make don't give it away we got to work on our album that goes in our book box that's a given um because sampiri is here and i can't you know i can't find another excuse as to why we're not working on that album right um we have to work on, um, I don't know. Um, I don't know what we're going to work on, but it's not going to be this week, this weekend, because this weekend I have um, my final paper to work on. So I probably won't be seeing, I see you tomorrow at two, but I will not be seeing you guys for crafty. Um, after that, um, I don't know what we'll find, what we'll create, but whatever we create, I will notify you guys on Facebook and let you guys know what we're making. Just saying, look at the journal you were writing in May. You set the schedule. Yeah, I know. We've made everything. We got the wall hanger hanging done. We got, oh, we got to do the travel suitcase. That we do have to do. Um, we've done just about every project we've set out to do Good night, Yvonne. thanks for hanging out with yes, us thanks Yvonne and guys don't forget to smack that thumb leave me a comment after the video it takes a couple minutes after we um, finish up for it to upload but please leave me a comment that lets YouTube know that you guys like my con oh that's the other thing I don't know if you got that but that's the other thing YouTube is starting to do asking people if your video was good enough to watch that's huh? that's the people, the people yeah watch? yeah the, you 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 have to rate now they're going to start rating that's something that came in the back um you're going to start rating channels mm -hmm. 
that right there, you know what that's going to cause? It's going to help the trolls that don't like you. Yep. To rate your channel. Mm hmm. And, um, yeah, because you know they're going to send those questions out to the people that did all the thumbs down first before the people that did the thumbs up. Yep. And that's going to encourage them to be more hateful and more vindictive, more ugly, to leave you nasty mm. views. Yep. I know. I do. I. My daughter said the same thing, Sandra. She said, Mom, how do you do it? She says, you don't sleep, you know, between school, the house, trying to fix meals. Listen to, first of all, Teresa says, I have I, I, I have a pop-up asking, was it useful? Was it pleasant, et cetera, et cetera. And then Sandra says, I'm going to have to get some Stamperia for a good review. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that before, says Laura. Have they started that yet? Yeah. Yeah, they sent me a message. Um, they have they're doing changes. They're doing a lot of changes, I guess. Um, People are gonna leave you too. Somebody out there has a new idea and for a new platform, and they're just waiting for the perfect time to throw it out there and people are going to abandon YouTube. I am hoping that happens. I really am hoping that literally happens because when that day ha comes, I will be the, I'd be the first one on that train to leave YouTube. I tried, I tried those other sites. They're not good. There's too much craziness going on there. It's gaming. Huh? Yeah. It's gaming. Yeah. And, you know, if you're not into that kind of lifestyle, I'm sorry. That's just not for me. You know, um, and so, yeah, it's not the site. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Everybody's when, when the poop hits the fan, people are going to flood over to Facebook until that new platform. Well, Facebook and at T, see, you just made, made, you just pointed something out. Facebook is starting to have gamers on there. Yep. I, yeah, on the on the right side of my screen, on top of the people that you could see if they're online or not, mm -hmm. right on top. Now they're announcing all these games. Yep. So and so is playing whatever. Come and join and play with so and so. And I'm like, I don't want to play with them. YouTube is gearing up for something that has to do almost similar to YouTube. YouTube is gearing up for that because the new the new um, Facebook is it looks like a gaming site. So my my guess is YouTube Facebook is either going to plan to build something similar to YouTube and it's going to cost money. It's going to come with a price tag. Um, but I saw something about it's going to start doing videos and stuff like that. So because I got that new um, remember when I told you guys I got something about Facebook saying <laughs> your, your site um, that's coming. YouTube Facebook is coming up with something new. I have that message across my the top of my Facebook. Try the new whatever. Yep. Yep. I, I tried I it. I, didn't like it. I tried it. I didn't like it. I I I didn't even try it after you said you did. Yeah, Facebook is starting to, I think Facebook is gonna be a new you Facebook is gonna do something with that's related to YouTube. I have a feeling. Mm hmm I do. I do. Watch it. Watch it happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You just have to sit down and see when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Yeah. So, but yeah, I got a message on our um, Facebook, our YouTube, something about they're going to start asking people about rating. And I'm like, that's not going to be good. Because we have, we already know that there's some massive, ugly people out there that needs a life. Yeah. Um, and that goes to my um, my favorite fan that you know wants to be ignorant. <laughs> There's a pan. This is for my troll. There's a pandemic out there. You, we're YouTube, about that. YouTube about Red it. is a paid service. Yeah, it's a paid service. I once paid it, and it was worthless. Worthless. And if you do that, you, you know YouTubers don't get their commercials aren't on their videos if you watch one of their videos it's commercial free so they're not getting paid for their ads yeah for my my haters out there this is my message to them the ones that wants to come in and watch me all the time and put the thumbs down because they haven't 
bothered to take the time to really watch the video, you know, here's it. Here's here's my advice to you. Get a life, first of all. Second of all, there's a pandemic out there. Yeah, Laura, the YouTube God, world is YouTube without commercials. God does not like ugly. And if you're going to be ugly to people who have not been ugly to you, all I have to say is God does not like ugly. Laura says, thanks for watching, trolls. Yep, thanks for watching. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. You just gave me a view. And, you know, thanks to Facebook. I do thank Facebook for that because if they do come out with a plan platform, then these haters aren't going to have anywhere to go. I I bought it once, but I didn't like it. Oops, where are you on? I didn't like it, and it was supposed to help with, like, the trolls and stuff like that. And no, lie. Oh, lie. All a lie. Now what are you making? This is the nom that goes on the top. You got to oh. finish the job. You can't just leave oh. one done and the other not done. Job has to be done completely, 100%. It's like my mom said, you can't wipe your face and leave your ass dirty. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We did two projects in one out of a sardine can. I don't know what we're going to do next. I will post it in the group. I do know that we're working on our album that goes in that book box. We also are going to probably work on something similar to this. Oh, and this is going to be a big project, though. This is a big, big project. And it's a book box inside. It also holds a uh, album in. But this is pretty big. This is different than the other book boxes. Laura, you chimed in. I didn't even know you were in the room. Uh, welcome. Hey, um. So that's going to be. Says, wow. One of our next projects. That's what she just said. Wow. Yeah, she, she did the box already. Now she's got to finish the album. Mm -hmm. The album is coming. It's coming. It's going to come this coming week, probably. This this week, we're going to work on the album. This week. Um, we'll work on that album. In fact, that's probably, that's kind of probably gonna. That's, I can't possibly sit down for three or four hours because y'all know I get bored out of one page, two pages. I, <laughs> me and albums are juices do not meet eye to eye oftentimes. You were here all night, Autumn. You didn't say anything. Yes, Miss Autumn, how are you? I think that turned out really cute. You can stick that on any little page. Laura says, oh, Lurky Lou, LOL. <laughs> well, Autumn, hit that thumbs up if you haven't hit that thumbs up. Yes, Miss Autumn, hit the thumbs up. Some thumbs up. She normally does anyway. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go and have another cup of coffee. I will see you guys in the next video. It'll probably be sometime next week. Um, you guys stay safe. Stay indoors. Um, Good night, everybody. Thanks yes, for hanging And I'll post out. pictures in the group for sure. Good night, Miss Joyce. Good night, Miss Joyce. I'm just kidding. I'm being a smarty pants. It just says it was fun. Awesome. awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm glad you guys. I'm glad you guys. I hope you guys liked it. Um, guys, loved, it. loved it. You guys were inspired. Don't forget to. Um, let us let us see what you guys come up with. We always yeah, love post it in the group. Post it in the group. Yeah. If you're going live, post it in the group so we can come. Yes, yes. If you're gonna go live, let us know. Post that stuff in the group, guys. Yeah, because YouTube ain't telling anybody. YouTube is not informing us. It's definitely not informing us. Yeah. So I'd like to go out there and provide support to all of you guys. 
Oh, we got a new glue. I have not tested it. This is a collage scrapbooking glue. I've not tested it yet. So we're going to try this with our... Ula, uh, what is it called? Ula gel? What? Cola gel. Cola. Cola is what the... Cola gel. Cola yeah. Behind. Yeah, cola gel. Cola is what the Spaniards call glue. Cola. Mm. So... All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. See you guys. Peace and monkey grease till next time. Bye. Love Bye. you. Everyone. Good show, my dear. Good show.